start flight support. How can we help you today? If you guys are ready to board, let me see those airplane emojis in the chat. First six to put an airplane emoji in the chat will be on board this challenge of 650 with us for the entire flight. Let's go. Let's see who's up. Let's see who's up. We got Nick Quippers. He's riding along with us today. Number one, number two, World Voyager. I see you, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard. Voyage. You make sure I spell your name right. There we go. We also got James back there with us in the child of 650 flying like an executive like a vip alongside him ethan aviation welcome aboard my friend welcome to the stream welcome back good to see you once again aviation that's one word i should definitely know how to spell but i still spelled it wrong oh well I understand. Uh, Clifton AFM. Let's see. One, two, three, four. It's our fifth seat. Goes to Clifton AFM. All right, all right. And our final seat, our sixth person to jump in with the airplane emojis is our friend, friend of the channel, Gavin Chapman. Welcome aboard, my friend. Free snacks for everyone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Am I in focus? I don't think I even checked that before I started. I think I am. Look at that. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue. This, my friend, is my favorite aircraft right now in all of Flight Sim. The Hot Start Challenger 650. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It just is. Just period. Captain Nogi, welcome to the stream. Seven Herring, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Flight Sim Studio. Welcome aboard, my good friend. On the come up. On the come up. There it is. 76, welcome to the stream. Iowa Scotsman, hello. Welcome to the welcome aboard, my friend. Hannah Fabric, hello, hello, hello. A kid named Kenny is in the building. Welcome to the stream. And Yannick, welcome, welcome aboard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a surprise for you. I have a little bit, just a little bit, just a tiny little surprise for you. Just a tiny one, just a little surprise. Uh, we have a giveaway. Oh, snap. We have a giveaway, and it's happening right freaking now. Surprise giveaway. Uh, thanks to, I think it's Aviation Master. Is that your name, bro? Let me make sure. I want to make sure I get it right, because we were just talking. 
uh, Aviation Ma- Yep, a- sponsored by Aviation Mas- Master, uh, the one who brought us out here to uh, Marathon, Florida, in the Keys, Key West. Take a look at the airport. This is the airport that he made. And we were giving a copy away today for X Plane 11. So do not enter into the giveaway unless you actually have X Plane 11, um, because it would be useless to you if you have Microsoft Flight Sim or something. Uh, this is the airport. We'll be taking a closer look at it as we go on. Uh, but yeah, this is freaking marathon. So far, I've been enjoying it. I think it's pretty solid quality. I, I love this area. I love flying out here in the Key West area here in Marathon. So definitely join the giveaway. So how do you enter the giveaway? All you got to do. Let me make sure I have it set up before I say it out loud. All you got to do is type in exclamation mark. Go ahead and type in exclamation mark right now. Uh, Kilo Mike Tango Hotel. K-M-T-H. First one to get that, it's all you. Actually, not first one. I'll take it back. I'll just put it in chat, and I'm going to roll a random person. It's not the first. My bad. <laughs> I misspoke. But uh, make it happen, guys. I'm going to do that giveaway uh, just in maybe like two minutes. I'll give you guys about two minutes uh, to get it in. And uh, welcome aboard, guys. It's good to be back. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing weekend. It is good to be back on the aircraft. We have two flights planned today. Our first flight is going to be Marathon Key West over to Tampa Bay. Florida and then after that we'll do the return leg and head back here to Marathon so we'll get a nice chance to get a nice departure out of Marathon and then do another nice arrival now I'm kind of a bit more concerned about the arrival because it's not the longest of runways so uh yeah like so we've got some hangers here got some RVs there got some more hangers there uh what's that say Marathon General Aviation pretty cool got a few static aircraft always good to have static aircraft Got some 3D grass on the ground. That's always a nice touch. I personally like it when they put grass. You know, since we don't have Microsoft Flight Sim and X-Plane doesn't have grass, you know, it's good whenever airport developers make it. I actually saw this earlier, and I like this little area, little chill spot. I wish I could walk around like I do with Microsoft. I'm, I'm missing the drone camera right now. Uh, but I like this little chill spot over here with all the benches, and we can do an aircraft rental, pilot shop, marathon drone aviation, air charters, helicopter tours, all this thing. So... Let me see if I can get a shot. There we go. You can see the umbrellas there. Very nice. Very nice. I can dig that. I can definitely dig that. Let me come over here. You can see all the general aviation parking spots. Uh, you can also fly jets in here. That's why we're flying a jet. You can fit a jet in here. Oh, I for oh no. I want to do the slow moving camera. Is there a slow moving camera? Is there a way to slowly move the camera? No. Oh, another fueler's here. Oh, dang it. <laughs> another building here. A little small little office building. Probably a flight school or something. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the airport. I've never actually been to Marathon. Nice model on that little house. It's probably like a house hangar, right? I, as my dream, personally, my dream house would be part house, part hangar. That's that's my dream house. My wife doesn't agree though, so it's, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, I right, moving back over here. So where we're at, and I uh, got another few hangers here. It's a pretty simple airport, but I mean, I feel like you did a pretty good job of making it look as it should. And if you guys in chat, if you're familiar with this airport and it doesn't look good, then let me know because again, I, I've not been out here. That's interesting how like this is the two te texture differences uh the cedar developer did reach out to me and say that they are working on multi like a major change uh he didn't say what that change was uh but some major ch major changes in a re uh, update coming up so if you do buy this scenery or you get this scenery uh you will expect this scenery to continue to, ev to evolve and get better over time as he's going to continue working on it got a wind sock here it's not too windy it's not too bad i'm looking forward to landing in here like i love the tree like oh, the tree line looks really nice so i'm digging it all right you guys you guys ready for the giveaway you ready are you ready let's go out here somewhere i'll we'll do a giveaway from out here from the final view yeah buddy that's what's gonna look like when we coming in right there all right all right all right all right it's time nightbot what you got for me bro i'm rolling the, the winner here in let me change music up here we go no not that one not that one. Not that one. Actually, I can dig this one. We can do that for the giveaway. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, again, if you missed what I heard earlier, 
This is your last chance. Exclamation mark K M T H in the chat right now. I'm rolling it in five seconds. That's four seconds. Nope. Now it's two seconds. One. I done rolled it. It's rolled. World Voyager. Man, it is your lucky day, bro. It is your lucky day. Huge congrats to World Voyager. He is our first giveaway winner. Notice I said first. We have another copy of this giveaway later on, so stick around for that. Uh, but our first winner is World Voyager. If, should you choose to accept it, my friend, you just won yourself. Aviation Masters KM. TH scenery. Yes, not only are you riding aboard with us on the challenge at 650, man, you're on my list. You're on the manifest, bro, right? Yeah, you're on the manifest and you want a free copy? It's your lucky day. All right, bro, one thing you need to do, my friend, hop onto Discord right now. Ahora. And uh, let's get in contact with you. Send me a DM if you can. If not, one of my mods will get in contact with you on Discord. Type in exclamation mark Discord if you're not already in there. And uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get your name and your email. And we'll get you taken care of, alright? Sounds good. For the rest of you guys, let's head back to our aircraft. Uh, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Right, I want to go back where we left off. Alright, let's go and bring the music down. The party's not over, it's just started. We got some setup to do. We got to prepare for our guests. We have six guests now, including our recent winner. Our fueler is here. They've gotten everything connected. We do need to do our walk around, get that taken care of. Uh, so first, let's go ahead and remove the uh, remove the remove before flight stuff. I don't want to tell him to go because I need him, but I'm not ready. So I guess we're just going to deal with that being up there for a bit. Uh, do I do anything to get better FPS in this plane because it gets very bad FPS for you? Uh, if you download, like, there's two different versions in the install process that you can download. Make sure you download the lower res version. It still should look pretty good. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Aviation, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Welcome aboard, and it's good to see you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. So we're just going to walk around real quick and get rid of all, of all, all the cones and things and... Uh, clean up the aircraft as it is pretty cold. We haven't flown this plane in uh, a while. And by a while, it's been what, maybe three, four weeks, something like that? Um, I'd have to go back in my YouTube discography uh, to find out when the last time we flew this, but it was, it's was it been a little while because, you know, I've been flying other things. That's just kind of my flight sim life. I, I, I fly a plane like this that I really enjoy, and trust me, I do really enjoy it. Uh, and then I, you know, go off and fly other things. And this is the kind of plane that you kind of, you know, you, you forget. Like, for example, the, the Dash 8Q400 from FlyJ Sim, also another one of my favorite aircraft uh, to fly on X-Plane. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit intimidated of it now. And, and the reason why, oh, does this open now? Oh, no, it just teleports me into the bathroom okay <laughs> oh i thought that was a button jeez we didn't finish my walk around um yeah so it, it's intimidating now be not because i don't you know i don't think i can fly it i we did perfectly fine flying it recently the problem is i haven't flown it in so long i have forgotten how to fly it and i've forgotten all my key binds and stuff and the same thing with this plane there's a lot that goes on with this aircraft uh it can be intimidating it's super uh uh satisfying when you do get it right but yeah anyways walk around is complete everything looks good we do need to remove all the gear pins we can do this from back here uh can i squat down nope that's not the right button <laughs> hold on see what i'm saying I'm, i forgot all my my buttons how do you squat is it control is it shift is it x oh it's x all right all right so we're just gonna reach back here and turn off or we'll actually we'll remove that i'll also kind of kill the music all the way because there are some pretty cool sounds to enjoy with this bird so we'll bring it down like that we'll bring the music back later our uh flight by the way if you guys are considering joining us if you're free uh it's only 40 minutes to tampa and it should be about 40 minutes back so we're over here next to the marathon aviation jet center fbo Oh my god, I keep pressing the... Okay, is there's there's some other game I play that crouches with C. Matter of fact, I think it's every game crouches with C, except for this one. And I'm trying to crouch down underneath the wing, and every time I do it, I teleport to the cockpit because I'm pressing C. So we got our Jeep, it's our, I think our AC unit in the front uh, connected there, and I love the cords. The cords look great. 
Um, they did update this plane about a week or two ago, and I don't know what they changed, so I'm not going to go into all of that. We got our fuel our fuel guys all connected, looking good. Got a Jet A. That looks good. We'll go over here. I think it's X. Press X. X. All right, X is the squat. Go down here, reach in, get our gear pin. Pop that like that. Uh, should you get the Tolis A319 or the A321? That's a good question, my friend. Um, it depends. It's a preference thing. They're both great planes. Um, if you get either, I recommend getting the sound pack with it. That's just my personal recommendation. Uh, for me, neither plane would be as enjoyable if I didn't have a sound pack. But they're still both great. They're both great. They're equally good, in my opinion. Let's go and get this thing powered up um, to the best of our ability. It's been a while, again, as I said, since I've flown it. So it's going to be a little bit slower of a startup than you last saw me. Because I just you know, haven't been it, you know. Uh, it's just my issue. I gotta always relearn how to fly everything ten times. So let's see. Gotta find my checklist for Hot Starts Challenger. There it is. All right, so battery on. Let's go ahead and move this up. We do have our AC power connected, so we can use that as well. But we'll turn the battery on. And uh, I, guess, I guess we'll we won't go to APU yet. Uh, we'll stay on the. I will stay on the AC power, so go turn the AC on. There we go. And then we'll turn on the AC DC utility. We'll go down here, get our nav lights on. Our logo lights are not needed. It's in the it's daytime, so we're good. Cockpit lights, it's a little dark in here, so we'll get some overhead lighting on. That's good to go. And now uh, let's see if we can check what our fuel itch looks like. So right now we have 2030 as oxygen. Okay. Uh, where's my fuel? Oh, there it is. Tooth. Okay, it's loading up. So whenever you first start it up, it doesn't actually tell you exactly how much fuel you have. You have to wait a second for it to kind of like calculate how much it is for the sensor to catch up. So I gotta wait for that once we find out what our total current fuel weight is. Or fuel, um, you know, is at. We can find out how much fuel we need. Again, the fuel in the act that we're gonna be telling the fueler is actually in gallons versus uh, what we see here is in pounds, which is super confusing, super confusing, um, which is why I have to convert it. And I basically just went on, um, uh, basically just went on the Google and found like a gallons to whatever uh, calculator. And I'm using that. Let me go find it again. I, this should be open. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, jet pounds, jet fuel from pounds or from gallons to pounds. That's what I got. So. It looks like it's, it's chilling out at 4240. We need 3750. So we already have enough fuel. We don't even need to refuel. So we're just going to go. I don't need any fuel. You can disconnect. Have a nice day. All right. Thank you very much. That was easy. All right. So nav lights are on. Local lights are on. Fuel is good. Fuel panel is good. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let's go ahead and do our bleed airs. Uh, can we do that with the APU off? Oh, hello. I think Jenny's calling us. Hello, Captain. What it's up? Jenny from Hot Start Flight Support. Your passengers have arrived. Shall I have them brought to the plane? Yeah, yeah, bring them on out uh, whenever you guys are ready. We're still setting up, but we'll be ready to go soon. Understood. They'll be there in a couple of minutes. Anything else? Uh, Can you bring, like, some extra drinks? Because I think we're out. So, but other than that, we're good. Always a pleasure. Take care. Uh, does my FPS go down when I turn on the GPU or APU? I don't know. Good question. No, it's the same. It is the same. And yes, uh, I saw a few of you guys in chat talking about um, that our thoughts and prayers are with Ukraine. Absolutely, my friends. Um, definitely been seeing and hearing about the news on that and still thinking about those people. So, um, I mean, trying to figure out things that we can do to support, you know. I think it's a good time for... Um, us and the whole world not just the aviation community but the whole world to come together and, and do something uh to help you know what i mean so uh all right so what else i'm, I'm again i'm kind of foggy on how to get it going because this has been a while so i'm looking down my list so we're going to get the bleeder i guess uh which is going to be uh these two <laughs> i think no yes is that what my thing says can't turn packs on can we I don't think so you know i'm just gonna do the apu because that's what i remember how to do so apu is gonna come on we'll burn some fuel we got plenty of it hydraulic 3a uh, apu power to set to on and then start 
I think I heard people walking in the back. Or is it my dog? <laughs> it's my dog. My dog trying to get in. Hold on. I just let him out. I am like, he can't make up his mind what he wants to do. Stand by. Know the rule. If you knock, you gotta say hi to the people. Say hello. Okay. That's enough. Okay, that's blue. <laughs> a view is a veil. A beautiful. And we can turn the APU gen on. Look at that. Come into life. Nav lights, logo lights, copy lights, fuel is good, fuel panels good, bleed air, and LCV. Where's LCV? Oh, this one here. There we go. And then left and right packs. Now we're rolling. And we'll go down to FMS. All right, so to do this, go to status. Hello, Captain. Hope you are doing well today. Great. I'm doing good. Doing There's nobody good. else coming along today. So as far as we're concerned, we're all good to go. All right, sounds good. Uh, total air time, 40 minutes. 4-0. Four, 4-0, zero. Four, zero, four, zero. Uh, you ain't leaving now. <laughs> he just being nosy. That's all he is. Uh, FMS good. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go to position in it. Uh, and our airport is Kilo Mike Tango Hotel. We should all know that now because we did the giveaway. Um, let's, uh, we'll go to the next page, copy our FMS position. Previous, drop that right there. And that should be all. Go to flight plan. Flight plan. We'll type in Kilo Mike. Wait, let me think about this. Uh, no. Bigger. I think I need to go back to index and then route menu. Yeah, there we go. Flight plan recall and then KMTH because we're going to import our flight plan from SimBrief so I don't have to type it. It's, it's a very simple flight plan. I can make it myself. I mean, I could like type it in myself, but it's always just faster to do it this way. Uh, Kilo T Tango Pop Alpha. KTPA. Oh, that's our date. Hold on. Clear. There we go. And then send. Request pending. Still pending. I did say I did. Okay, there it is, dude. Oh, uh, what? Data link flight plan rejected. That's not good. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Let me just see if I can regenerate it. What up, you're a Slav? Welcome to the stream. Uh, can you import from SimBrief into the TOLUS? Can you? I don't think so. For whatever reason, I don't think that's incorporated into TOLUS. Yeah, I know the Challenger can do it. I believe the Dash 8 can do it from FlyJ Sim. Um, I mean, you could do it kind of from the 737. You can, I think you can do it in the, in the, in the TOLUS planes, except it's not straight from SimBrief. I think you have to download the file from SimBrief, put that into your X-Plane files, and then import it. Um, but I, I've never actually tried it that way. I think most planes you can import it just straight into X-Plane with the FMS file. But uh, I don't know that it imports it like a data link, like fly by wire. Uh, you're still waiting for me to fly to India? Uh, we'll definitely do it. Uh, we did it, uh, it wasn't too long ago. Uh, I guess you probably missed that stream. All right, so I regenerated my OFP on SimBrief. We're gonna try it again. I think I spelled everything right. Kilo Mike Tango Hotel, Kilo Tango Papa Alpha. So let's just try seeing it again and see what happens. If not, we'll have to just do it ourselves and you know, it's all good. All right, so send that. We'll see if it'll get it. I selected a, a expired database as my current. That's possible, Cajun. We'll check that out. Get rejected. So go, just go look and see if what you're saying is right. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and put this in the active. All right. So 22, March 22. All right. Let's go position in it. Is I guess I gotta redo that. Cause I, yeah, I I gotta redo. Okay. So Kilo Mike Tango Hotel. It's all good. We're learning again. We're learning. And we get our position. Previous. Drop that in there. 
and then we'll go to index again we'll go to route menu flight plan recall and that's already in there so we'll hit send and see what happens if not again we'll just have to do it ourselves i don't know what i messed up in the process uh where did i fly when i went to india nice data link flight plan loaded success who is that for the win that gave me that tip cajun josh thank you for pointing that out i would have never thought i would have never figured it out i don't remember where we went maybe it was in india i think it was somewhere else you know what? i don't think we've been to the actual country of india we've been to the middle east and all that i don't know if we went to india i, I do know that the mount everest isn't that in india technically so we probably went there um but anyways okay that's good let's go to our secondary flight plan there it is we'll activate it and that's it that's our whole flight plan two waypoints and i did all that for two waypoints so we put on our departure our arrival our departure to be runway seven out of marathon execute that back departure arrival on our arrival into tampa bay it'll be the bullfrog one arrival via which one did i pick I just realized i had my work email open still uh, i picked i picked the F bullfrog yeah, bullfrog transition. We'll go with the feral one, I guess. How do I go down the page? Yeah, let's go with feral. And we're expecting, at least what Simbrief gave us for a landing in Tampa, is 2.8. So we'll take ILS 2.8. Where's that? RNAV, RNAV, ILS. Is there an ILS? There's no ILS 28, is there? What runway is that? You know, Simbrief be weird sometimes. Anybody else in the chat, raise your hand. Give me a hand emoji in chat if you've ever made a flight plan with Simbrief and it gave you the most awkward runway. Like the shortest one. You're like at a big old international airport and it gives you the, the shortest intersection runway. Uh, and it's kind of what happened here. I mean, we could land 2-8 visual, that's fine, but I want like a real runway. <laughs> uh, what are the winds right now? And uh, what are the winds in Tampa? Yep, hands are in the chat. You know what I'm talking about. It's kind of annoying. This is why I always verify that before I even freaking get off the ground. Um, because it, knowing me, I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna land here on this runway that I never, at an airport I've never been to. You know, like if I'm flying somewhere I'm familiar with, I kind of know what runways that airport usually uses. All right, winds right now in Tampa are three zero zero at four, so we should be landing on the ones. Um, and in a few at two thousand, scattered at seven thousand, broken at one thousand, eleven thousand. Yeah, that's what that means. Yeah, eleven thousand. Temperature is twenty six two point eighteen. Altimeter three zero zero eight. So we'll take one right. Uh, there is no ILS on that one either. That is okay. Uh, because we're going to be parking over at General Aviation and not at the International uh, Parking. And it's going to be... Honestly, 2-8 would actually make sense. And the reason why... Because it's the closest to our parking spot. But I don't know. Anybody from Florida or Tampa know if that's a legit... I mean, it's a runway, so it must be used. You know, we're, we're going to try something different. We're going to land on 2-8. Yeah, we're gonna take the the, the awkward two eight runway. I've never heard of. It should be an RNAV approach for this. Let me see. Where's the RNAV? Give me the RNAV. Cancel. Go back. Go back. I want to go back. Cancel. Cancel. Okay, bullfrog one, feral, and then give me the RNAV or two eight if that exists. Yep, there it is. RNAV two eight uh, from Pi. Petersburg. Speaking of Petersburg, any racing, IndyCar racing fans out there that have St. Petersburg race or whatever they call it was yesterday. All right, we're all good there, uh, I think. Yeah, let's go over to our legs page. Make sure there are no discos. There's one right there. So this is messed up. It's going to have us going to Feral, Bullfrog, back to Feral, and then Bullfrog again. So we need to delete that. Let's go. <laughs> I think I should have just made the flight plan on my own because it's confused. It doesn't know what it wants to do with its life. All right, so I'm going to type 
I'm gonna click on Pharaoh and put that there. Pharaoh's gonna be our first waypoint. Next, and we'll get rid of this discontinuity. Also, here after we'll, we'll leave that one there. Okay, uh, what do I need to do next? Uh, perf, right? Go to perf page, perf menu, perf init, and we have six passengers on board, and they're carrying a decent amount of cargo. We'll go with about I don't know, six fifty. 650 pounds of cargo uh, fuel is 4433 about 4330 that's a lot of fuel we might have enough fuel for both of these flights we'll have to see when we get over there uh, cruise altitude today is 36,000 feet and that's it execute that we're gonna take off page uh, again the winds Hi, right, that we got a wins in marathon marathon went to three four zero at eight so three four zero slash eight outside air temperature here in marathon this morning is 24 degrees celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit let's see what that is that is do do that's uh, no 82 nice it is nice out here it's 82 degrees that's yes yeah, that's, that's I like that. <laughs> I like that. That sounds like a good time. Three zero point one four is our altimeter. It's been cold out here in Texas. Like it's weird. It's it's, it's usually not this cold for this long. Uh, and that's it. We'll go to the next page again and see what else we got. We'll leave that out. And we'll hit send. So it'll send all of our V speeds to our main screen, and we should be done. I think. Let me make sure. Uh, let's go back to perf again. Perf in it. That's good. Uh, is there a takeoff? Done that. That's good. Index. I think I've done everything. Speed now. Speed altitude. MFD advantage. Nope. That's good. I think I've done everything. <laughs> I think Every day. Have a great stream blue got to go to work All right, World Voyager, thank you so much, my friend, for that super chat donation. And uh, make sure you stay tuned to your Discord, bro. We'll get in contact with, you, contact with you for that giveaway. Also, I'm not sure if you could hear me at all that last 30 seconds, but I need to pay for this stupid thing. I have a, a, um, a audio encoding software thing mixer called voice meter potato and i'm pretty confident i paid for it because i bought like three extra audio channels on my up on my pc but for whatever reason because i haven't registered it every like six hours it like completely just mutes my whole computer and it hijacks my computer for 30 seconds and i can't say anything i can't hear anything <laughs> it's so stupid so it's so annoying it happens every freaking day anyways um we're ready to go we're done with the fmc let's go and get this thing uh fired up and rolling out of here because we are ready so um let's get the the, the anti-skids arm so take out it is complete where's anti skid anti skids down there it's done anti skid is arm hydraulic 3 8 pump is on get the other hydraulic pumps turned on uh we'll also our landing altitude is good sea level uh, Anti-ice is good. Emergency lights. Armed. Passenger signs. Auto. Spoken signs on auto. Uh, go down here. So we're cruising at 36,000 feet, as I said. So it's going to go straight to that. There's no ATC out here. And no ATC expected. If they do pop up, we'll do what we got to do. But um, not expected to have ATC at this time of day down in Florida. 
Uh, so 360 is good. I have some lights in here. Can I get some lights in here? This seems dark. Okay, there it is. Oh, okay, now I can see it much better. Much, much better. Uh, do you get drug tested as a ramp agent? Yes, yes, you do. So if that's a problem for you, then it's going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, spo what are these? Spoilers. Auto is down here. Which is already on auto. Rest reverse was armed. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Hold on. Uh, trim. We'll do this first and we'll go out there. We need to do uh, get the gear pins and stuff out. Did those? Yeah, I think I did that right. It's so funny how clueless I am when I come back. All right, so we're ready for engine start. Before we do that, we need to go and remove our last gear pin, which is in the nose. You can now hear the APU fired up in the back. I will squat down with the X key. I'll go down here where the AC is connected at. Uh-oh. And I'll click on that. That'll open the nose door. Get underneath here. Very cool feature. And we'll take out the gear pin. And we are good. So we'll go close that back up. Micah, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love that sound. Is the APU on? I believe it is. It's on the other side. There is a sound. Yes, Captain Kevin. One of my favorite features with this plane is the fact that you can actually get out and walk around. Very nice. And walk in. Uh, let's get the back screens powered on. Yep, it's on. You can see it has our flight plan on there. That's beautiful. Get this screen turned on and get the briefing going. Ladies and gentlemen, if we may please have your attention. Your flight crew would like to welcome you. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Somebody today. in chat was requesting to see the like airport. To to the Hold on. One on. last before we go. I'll show you what we got going on here in Marathon. Here is the airport. Actually, for anything outside the airport area, I do have my objects turned down uh, because Tampa is pretty hard, my my friends. So we got some uh, some tea hangers there on the edge. See what the runway textures look like. I don't know if they're PBR. It's kind of hard to tell in this overcast lighting we got going on right now. Got a few buildings here, parking spots. Again, I've personally never been to Marathon, so I cannot uh, attest to its accuracy. And I think this is the main terminal, I'm assuming. This isn't actually an international airport, or considered to be. I do, I think, I think I see a little mistake here. It looks like there's a missing texture on that sign, unless it's actually pink in real life. In Belgium, you know, we haven't been to Belgium in a while. Um, I'll definitely take that request, my friend, and uh, see if we can make it out sometime soon. Again, if you guys do have uh, flight suggestions, uh, the best place to tell me that is on Discord in the feedback section. Uh, if you tell me in the stream, I'll most likely say, hey, that sounds cool. We'll have to go there sometime. And then as soon as I hit um, in stream, I will forget everything that I said. <laughs> so that's just the truth. Marathon General Aviation, Air Museum, EAA. By the way, when I looked online uh, where you buy this airport, it's only $7. So, I mean, yeah. That's up to you on whether or not you think this is worth 7 bucks. But that's pretty darn cheap. Got a flag over here. Not sure what it says. Florida Keys Mosquito Control District. That is interesting to have at the airport. Maybe they have like a, a crop duster or something that like flies out and like, like does like, you know, gets rid of mosquitoes. 
All right, guys, head back to the plane, and we actually have some flying to do. So I am going to shut the door, and let's get out of here. Passenger briefing cards for the location and operation of the fire extinguishers. We invite you to review the passenger briefing cards for all other safety information regarding this aircraft. All personal carry-on items should be secured for takeoff and landing. Oh, no, come on. There we go. Must be All right, yeah, there are taxi, PBR. Cool. And at any time when the seatbelt sign is So one thing that's funny is in real life, I'm, I'm getting belt, signed off to uh, metal plate into the to, to open and close a real life Airbus harness, door. I'm freaking scared. I can't remember how to do this now. To tighten, how to do this? The tab, okay. Remove, yeah, it's armed. Lift the buckle or locked. Cool. During taxi, yeah, in real life, I'm, I'm landing, being trained on how to open and close a real Airbus door. And uh, if you do it wrong, in an the slides position. will deploy, and that's worth a Our lot of money. And uh, you'll definitely lose your job. So, and if equipped, kind of nervous about that. Alright, how do we start replaced. this thing? I feel bad, we're taking way too long, we're already late. Alright, yeah, that's good, 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 good. Engine start, doors are closed, parking brakes. Parking brakes are not set. Alright, park the brakes set. Which types Feels good. We'll get the beacon on. To be used. And we'll tell the ground crew now, they can remove the chucks. Safety instructions. Please sit back uh, and the power too, actually. So. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate to ask your flight crew. Uh, am I still playing Infinite Flight? I haven't played it in a little while. I still have. I actually still have an account. Um, I still have it on my phone or my iPad. I just haven't been playing it. All right, so they should be disconnecting the AC and DC power. As we can see, that has been uh, it's gone. So now we'll tell him to go ahead and get rid of the chocks as well. So, oops, this, that is what we do to say remove chocks. Best business jet in X Plane 11, not including the Challenger. That's easy, Lucas. Phenom 300 from Aerobasque. All right. Chocks are all removed. Uh, let's go ahead and ask him, are we good to start the engines? Uh, we'll do two first. So, two. Give us a thumbs up. We're good to go. All right, let's go up top. Boost pumps on left and on right. Ignition B. And starting engine two. Oh, I gotta hold it, right? We'll click and hold that. There we go. 20%. And uh, I think I hit this button right. Yeah, there it is. And I think we can do both at the same time. Is that is that right? Oh, sorry. One. <laughs> All right, we're good for one. Two engine two is stabilized. Engine one firing up. Bobby, hello, welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm gonna make this easy on myself here, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that after start checklist. Flight from part checked. Engine start after start checklist. <laughs> Generator one and two. All right. Engine one and two. On checked AC and DC. AC and DC is good. Ignition. What about it? Ignition disarm. Disarmed. Packs. Packs are good. 14th stage. 14th stage, I think, is the top ones, right? So. Open. There we go. Cow anti ice. Don't need it. On. Check 45 seconds. Flight controls. Flight controls. My track IR on? It is not. How's my flight training going? Oh boy, uh, it's uh, slowly. 
<laughs> very slowly. Alright, is this working? Beautiful. Okay, flight controls. Good, as you guys can see, we are rocking Thrustmaster's TCA yoke today. Checked. Ground spoilers. Ground spoilers are good. Checked. Stowed. Auto. Flight spoilers. Checked. Stowed. Cal anti-ice. Green advisory message on. Supplemental ground wing anti-ice. Not nah, worry about that. Test on. Fuel balance. Uh, fuel balance. Checked. Yes, we're good. Trims. Trims. Uh, did we do that? I think that's two. I think five is right, isn't it? We'll do that. Taxi checklist. Taxi lights. It's been a while since I've flown oh. this plane, so if you guys yeah, in chat know I'm doing something wrong, just speak up. I right, my lights are already on. I guess he did that for me. Anti ice again. Norm on or off. Brakes and steering. Uh, what? 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 Brakes and steering. Oh, for taxi, right? Yeah. Checked. That's... Reverse thrust. Checked. If taxiing the de ice, false checklist flaps. Twenty. Altimeters. Oh, I think he does that for me. Altimeter three zero one four. Let's go ahead and drop that in. Come on, let me click on it. There we go. Three zero one four and altimeter. What's up? Set and cross check. Radar weather. On. Takeoff briefing. Takeoff briefing. I, I guess I should brief you guys on what we're doing for takeoff. For takeoff, guys, we're using runway 07. It's going to be straight out departure and then direct to our arrival fix, uh, which is. Barrel. Uh, I'm climb up to 36,000 feet, and that's about it. Reviewed. Taxi checklist complete. All right, Before let's go, guys. takeoff checklist next. Alright, let's see if my controls still work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you know, you know what? It might be important to turn on the nose wheel steering. Why was that not in the checklist? I don't know. Alright, can I hide this? Thank you. Alright. And we are on VATSIM, so... Marathon traffic, Challenger 1 6, uh, Bravo, Tax Runway 07, Marathon. And this is gonna be Bravo. Oh, my horrible taxi skills are being <laughs> revealed. Been a while, this thing feels a bit different than I remember. Uh, is she a frame dropper? Uh, it depends on your system. She can be. For me, she's okay. Um, I, For me, I get about the same FPS in this plane. Maybe a little bit better than what I get in the Zebo. Yeah, a little bit better than what I get in the Zebo. So it's not the best, but there's a lot of a lot of things going on. Is the APU supposed to be off? I feel like the APU is supposed to be off. And right now I'm at idle thrust, so like I'm not even, not even giving you any power. All right, brakes. Before takeoff checklist, passenger signs. Advised on, anti-collision light. On, probes. On, windshield heat. On, wing and cowl anti-ice. Norm on or off. Continuous ignition. On. ATC TCAS. TARA. Supplemental ground wing anti ice panel. Checked. CAS. Takeoff config OK. okay Takeoff config OK. Checked. Landing pulse recog lights. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. After takeoff checklist next. All right, we are clear to take off. Marathon traffic, uh, Challenger 1 6 drive taking off from way 07, departing to the North Marathon. Alright, guys, my eyes are away from the chat. Uh, we're gonna get all of this runway here. 
in a marathon the day. We have six passengers on board plus three flight attendants or three crew, I should say. Got a jet behind us. We're lined up. Let's do it. I'm gonna hit the chrono. You guys are yelling at me last stream about me forgetting the chrono and ATS. Go. Brakes released. We are rolling. Airspeed's alive. 80 knots. B1, rotate. Baby, that wind. Positive rate, you're up. Arming nav mode. And quick fly by. Back in the cockpit. All right, I'm gonna roll left. And we'll change our speed to 250 knots. I still have the controls. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Flaps up. Or they're going up. Zero. Thruster missers. Off. Ignition. Off. Pressurization. Checked. Pax transition. So he's taking care of all the checklists while I'm flying the plane. I'm trying to get the plane back on course uh, to our first waypoint to the north. Climb and he's set. handling everything else. APU generator. Off. APU. Shut down. Passenger signs. Clear. After takeoff checklist complete. All right, there we go. All right, so it's time to put some some nose down trim here. Uh, we do have a tailwind. It's not too windy, but I'm definitely feeling uh, some. I want to say feedback, but it's not feedback. <laughs> I'm just kind of feeling the wind pushing us a little bit. Here comes 10,000 feet. We're gonna work on getting autopilot working here. I think I'm forgetting something uh, because when I go in the nav mode, all right, let's go for autopilot on and see what happens. Autopilot's on, flight change mode is on. If it's not too loud, I would like to go outside. A little loud. So little loud. So little loud. There we go. All right, we're above 10,000. Let's really quickly get our lights off, uh, and we'll check back up on the plane here in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Any collision lights are on. Have lights. Da -da -da -da. That's all is good. I don't know why. Okay, yeah, seatbelt signs and smoking signs are on. That's good to go. Uh, climbing through the second layer of clouds, passing 15,000 feet. So watch that breakout. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, is the checklist a plug-in or aircraft integration? Uh, yeah, the checklist is built into the plane. That's a feature built into this plane. It, it not only has its own checklist, but it also has, you know, a, a 
co-pilot that reads out the checklist for you so we just went through the entire like from taxi to after takeoff checklist all automated the only thing i was doing is i have a button mapped on my yoke or you could map it anywhere um to basically either acknowledge or skip to the next item so sometimes you'll hear me pressing a button that's because i'm acknowledging what he's saying because there's some things in the checklist that you actually have to like respond to uh and that's what i was doing so uh la, 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 la. 18 000 feet we go to standard on the barrel and let's jump to vnav and see if that's working um Hopefully the VNAV works okay for us today. Um, but this baby's moving. So 36,000 feet is where our plan to cruise altitude if we get that high. Uh, do I have XP realistic? Yes, I do. Uh, is it on right now? I'm not sure. Uh, one other thing I want to do is I want to go back here because it's something that really bugs me on airplanes in real life. And I add is when people put the shades down. Oh, that's not what I want to do. There we go. When people put the shades down in airplanes, it really just bothers me. I, I get it. Some people want to sleep, but no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. So we're going to open all these shades. Open all of them. There we go. This is, this is how a plane is meant to be flown with all the windows open. All the windows open. I don't care if you're sleepy. Get, get a, get a uh, blindfold. If you're sleepy, don't go closing all the windows. Now, I do get it between flights. A lot of times they'll close the windows of flight attendants because, you know, it, it's, it keeps the, the cabin warm. I understand that. I get that. Um, but during flight, open the windows up. It's too much to see out there. Too much to see out there. Uh, Reg designed the release to release the CYYZ for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Not sure why your comment got deleted. I don't know why either, Joey. Maybe you put a link in it. That might be why. If you put a link in a comment, I think Nightbot automatically deletes it. So uh, we're actually planning on flying to Toronto on our Wednesday stream. Uh, this morning, I just posted our schedule for the week. Uh, so today, we're hopping into Marathon in the Challenger 650 up to Tampa and back uh, Wednesday. Planning to go to Toronto. I didn't say that part, but uh, we are going to be flying Air Canada into Toronto. And then Friday, we're flying a 320 Neo. I can't remember where. Oh, Italy. Yeah, we're doing Italy on Friday. So that's the schedule for the week. And then Thursday, uh, we have the Blue Experience with me and XP72 on Thursday night. So that is the plan for the week. So right now we're climbing. It's looking solid. I think it is actually following the vertical navigation. That's what I like to see. Uh, the cabin is pressurizing. Got plenty of oxygen. The chrono's on. Uh, we are actually following the flight plan. We're 84 miles away from Farrell. Again, Farrell is our first waypoint on our arrival into Tampa. We'll be parking at the uh, executive parking area, which I think is on the um, south east side of the field over there by U.S. Customs. So that is the plan. But other than that, I really don't remember. What, what's the next checklist? I don't know. I used, Man, I used to know this plane so good. I'll tell you, man. If you, like, focus on just one aircraft, like just a 737 or just a Challenger or just a kid, whatever you're into. Like, if you focus on one plane, you really can get to know it really well. And sometimes, even though I like to have variety uh, to fly different things, I like to... You know jump around different planes different areas of the world uh, it kind of hurts me in the, in a way that I, I never really get very very deeply in, in, acquainted with some of these aircraft um, like the challenge we flew for like two weeks straight uh, so I felt really good <laughs> like I felt really confident in it like I could I could join I could hop on piloted I could I could fly in the most busiest of airspaces on uh on vatsim or whatever and, and be very proficient in the plane and then i stepped away from it for three four weeks however long it's been and now i'm like i'm a complete outsider like i'm a beginner all over again i know right who shut the shades <laughs> there's only six people on board <laughs> well ethan you're one of the six Uh, do you maybe have the checklist thing for the TOLUS A321? There might be a checklist, maybe, in your documents. Uh, like, if you go into the folder you get with the 321, uh, there might be, like, a, a documents or manual folder. And a lot of times in there, it'll have 
uh, explanations of how to fly the plane or the checklist and stuff like that. If you can't find that, just go online and find any Airbus A321 checklist, and that should that should work. Um, some of the ones you find online are kind of like like it doesn't always completely apply because a lot of the things in the checklist don't actually matter in the sim or they might not be simulated in the particular plane you're flying uh, have i already found a flight school i i know of a few um there's some over here in my area that i've been looking at that i've been considering uh you know committing to but i haven't chosen one i mean basically if you if you weren't following along with some of my my other recent streams and stuff like that like the discovery flight that i did in the video uh was kind of a one-off for now uh, i was trying out that flight school i do like that one united flight systems i it's a, a strong contender it's one, of the, one, it's one of the schools on the top of my list uh, but the thing is right now where i'm at in my life i just don't have the finances to put towards my whole training right so uh, i'm focusing somewhere else but uh, i'm still kind of shopping around uh, where i'm going to go with that but i have done ground school been working on that online basically doing whatever i can now uh online or on the computer that i can do to get myself ready for when it's time because i'm hoping like it could be this year that i start doing my flight training it could be next year i don't know personally um it kind of depends on how things are going in my personal life which is not a good time right now um, and to be transparent with you guys, I'm working on getting a house. Matter of fact, we're getting extremely close to getting a house. Um, matter of fact, I might even know which one we're getting. Like, we're already in the process of getting a house. Uh, so in a few months, I might be in my first house ever. <laughs> so I'll definitely make a big deal about it and post it online and, and let you guys know when it happens. But that's where all my finances and, and priorities right now is going, is taking care of the family, getting us into a new house. And once we get through that... We'll see how we're doing, and I can start finally putting money to my own personal goal and dream, and that is getting my pilot license. That's where I'm at. That's the full, honest story of what's going on with that. That's the only reason I haven't done it. Like, if I had, like, an extra, extra, extra money, <laughs> I might put it to that, but right now, that's kind of where we are. Um, so, that's why getting a house is such a big deal for me. Not only because getting a house is a big deal. But because once I get a house, that is basically a step towards me getting my license because I have to get that out the way first before I can make, um, before I can uh, I can get to flight school. So uh, that's kind of the first biggest milestone towards getting my pilot training or my pilot license is getting a house, which is weird, right? You wouldn't think that would be in the play, but for me in my situation, that's how it is. All right, we're leveling off now at thirty-six thousand feet. I don't know why it has us set at sixty-six. At Mach 0.66, when we go Mach 0.82, so we're gonna go as fast as we can go where it allow us to. We will go ahead and turn off the seatbelt signs, and we'll go back here. Uh oh, wrong way. Thank you, Difference Try. I appreciate it so much. The Chateau Blue House tour. <laughs> we might, we might do it. Um, you know, honestly, me and my wife are pretty excited uh, about. She's more excited than I am, but I'm excited too. Um, uh, excited about the house uh, like we're even talking about because it's actually not built yet we're actually getting one built um, or we're buying a, a new build yeah yeah I'm building my house with my own hands I could I could literally say that I want to go over there just to put something together so I can claim that I built my house with my own hands I'm, I'm actually gonna probably do that but hey can I put a brick down <laughs> can I can I can I can I hammer something <laughs> can I screw something just so I can tell people I built this with my own hands uh, no but uh yeah we're thinking about going down there to, just to see it again yeah, we, we've seen it already again um but uh yeah it's it's a it's a process getting a house is a process we're early in um so I'm not gonna say like it's for sure for sure um but we know which one we're trying to get and um it's not built yet but we've already seen the property all right I'm gonna do post takeoff Uh, Rams fan, you're gonna DM me, DM me on Instagram. We can talk flight school, and you can help me find a school that won't waste my money. That's that's a good idea. I like how that sounds. One of my my ideas as well with flight school is uh, is uh, oh we can, I forget about that uh, is to not just find a flight school, but really find an instructor because I know how I I know how I learn, and I'm not nece necessarily trying to go through a program where I'm just 
a number right i'm just a, a person on this long list like not not saying i don't want my instructor to be successful and have a bunch of students i'm just saying i want to have a more personal uh person the person uh relationship with this person that's gonna be my flight instructor um so i want to know that we have good chemistry i want to know that i can i can trust this person i can talk to them that i can feel comfortable asking questions um that they're gonna you know be respectful to me and all that kind of stuff right um so i'm more looking for an instructor now if that instructor happens to work at a flight school then i'll go to that flight school and then exclusively use that instructor but that's kind of where i'm at i'm more looking for an instructor versus looking for a whole school because the school you know it's just kind of just throw you with whoever they have available cozy thank you for the subscription welcome to the blue arrow royal family that's kind of what happened with my discovery flight is that i went there like hey i want to do i want to do a discovery flight and they just kind of like you know booked the next available time slot with the next available instructor and that's how i ended up with tara which is the girl that was in my um my discovery flight video she's really cool actually matter of fact she is a definite uh, definite um uh, person for me to consider to be my instructor uh, she was i mean i really liked like her voice was very somebody in the comments was like man her voice is really calming and honestly that's a good thing that's a good trait for an instructor is that if things are going wrong or you know if somebody's teaching you they're not yelling at you they're not making you feel uncomfortable and i felt very comfortable with her i shouldn't like she was calm in all moments everything was cool you know her attitude would not so you know um, she's definitely a good contender for me for um, an instructor and I don't know how long she plans to instruct because um, she might end up going to an airline or something who knows but um, I'll definitely keep, I have her car and everything so I'll keep her in mind uh, how do you calculate CG on the Challenger Dennis I actually don't know when you find out please let me know because I just always skip that part I know, I think Toto came in chat once and tried to teach me how to do it, and that was like, you know, a few weeks ago, so now I've forgotten. <laughs> but I would like to actually do that, but I just don't remember how to do it. I have no idea. Thank you, Trey. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, it's it's been a really good month, I'll be honest with you. It's been, it's been really good. I've been very thankful and blessed with some really cool opportunities. As some of you guys saw, we also got featured on microsoft flight sims freaking homepage, that was nuts man um let's uh turn our altitude down because our top of the sense coming up very very soon uh we got featured on microsoft flight sims homepage. i don't know if we're still there probably not because they got updates coming out matter of fact there's a microsoft flight sim sim update major update coming out today on microsoft flight sim so definitely check that out and also a big tip i'll give you and this is the same tip i'll give you for any microsoft flight sim update and that is make sure you clean out your community folder uh you don't have to delete everything just clean it out uh, move it to somewhere else uh, let Microsoft Flight Sim update and then come back to it. All right, uh, that is my recommendation for you guys if you're in if you're going to be updating it. But just make sure your community folder is empty. But anyways, uh, yeah, we got featured on Microsoft Flight Sim's homepage. We're still on the site. Like the article is still there. You guys can check it out. Um, look me up on the Microsoft Flight Sim website. Uh, should be in the articles somewhere. Uh, but that was really cool. That was a big deal to me um, to be acknowledged like that. Like I I never expected anything like that to happen uh, for me. So that's really cool. Uh, also getting to do discovery flight um that was obviously a dream, dream come true uh, i've been wanting to do that and i was like i cannot let another year go by without getting my butt in the seat of a cessna or something uh so i've been doing some traveling like in airliners as for work which has been cool been loving that travel portion but i want to actually take the control so being able to do that was really cool and the way you guys have responded to that video has been really great and encouraging and a lot of you guys you know giving me um tips and stuff like that is super super helpful uh, then also uh getting to do the pushback stuff um getting uh signed off or you know uh i can now you know push back aircraft and stuff like that that's really fun i love that's my absolute favorite thing about working at the airport and my favorite part of my job is working um and pushing back aircraft i'm still kind of trying to get better at it like the pushback i did in the video was actually really good um but there's sometimes and i, I don't get it you know but perfectly straight like i want it to and there's sometimes when i push back a little too far back just you know a few things like that nothing dangerous but i want to continue to get better um because i really really enjoy doing it and i would like to do it for a while i'm not planning on retiring there um at least not at this specific company maybe i'll move to like united or delta or something and work for them i don't know i don't have plans but if the opportunity comes up maybe i'll try i also get to do more planes um 
but I've been getting a lot of really good experience at this job working as a pushback driver load master and just general ramper so I've been definitely enjoying it by the way if you guys haven't noticed we just reached our top of descent so we're now descending down to 6,000 feet into Tampa Bay Florida hopefully our scenery will pop up here in a little bit but uh, it's fun it's been it's been good um, it's, it's been good it's been really good so just thankful and blessed and um hoping you know I can you know people can see my life and I can you know be an example for people and show that hey you just keep pushing and don't give up you can make things happen so I, I it's gonna be a huge freaking deal when I like get my pilot license like you guys have no idea uh squad Squanzy, thank you for the follow welcome to the blue arrow family welcome to the blue arrow family welcome 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 aboard all right, we're descending for 6,000 feet. We are descending via a arrival. The arrival is the Bullfrog 1. F uh, I think that's Bullfrog ahead of us. Yep, in about, what, 40 miles or so? Look at my iPad here. Uh, there are no altitude restrictions on the arrival except for at the end at Cruise, or at a waypoint called Cruise, uh, which is 6,000. So hopefully we'll make that. We should, though, because it descent right as it asked. I uh, think do we need to put in like a uh, arrival stuff is like an Airbus. I think I do legs Perf. Yeah, perf menu Approach all right winds in Tampa Hey right, Rams fan I'll, I got you man. I'll check out your DM after the stream is over man. Thank you again sir. Whatever you said just thanks in advance <laughs> But uh, I'll definitely check it out after the stream is over. And again, if you guys want to contact me, you could always reach out on Discord. Um, um, or you could hit me up on, on Instagram. Those are the main two places that I, I look at. Let me see. Let me see. What was I doing? I was reading something. <laughs> I was distracted. Uh, oh, weather. Tampa. Is my dog still in here? Yeah, he is. I can see him laying down in his little bed in the corner. You guys can't see him. Right, I'll submit a 3019 in Tampa. Weather's not too bad down here. So three zero point a one niner. Okay, we're doing the RNAV approach, so there will be no ILS. What else? Winds are one four zero at nine. Uh, we'll see if if landing on that runway is still makes sense though. One four zero slash nine winds. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leva, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family. Welcome, welcome aboard. Another thing I want to mention, and because I'm excited about it, I'm a little excited about it. Uh, you guys know I'm a big racing fan. I love racing. If you like racing, yeah, salute to you. Um, well, NASCAR is back, so I've been watching that. Uh, but also, Formula One is on the way back. They've already been doing their preseason testing and stuff like that, so I've been watching every single thing I could can, I can watch. Uh, and then um, the new Netflix series. Hold on, 28. Let me not get distracted. The new Netflix series, uh, Drive to Survive, is coming out season four in I think a couple weeks or something like that. So I thought it was today. I like, opened up Netflix thinking it was today. I was like, crap. So um, I'm, I'm excited about that too. So I'll definitely be binge watching that. I don't binge watch a lot of shows on Netflix, but that's 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 my show. Only time I really watch Netflix is when I'm watching it with my wife because she likes to watch it. And I was even mad. I'm just like hanging out with her. But all right, we got our weather in. That's yeah, good to go. Uh, what's on the next page? We'll send that stuff over. All right, there's our speeds. Let's go outside again while we're descending. Where are we right now? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Mary. Thank you for the subscription and welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Welcome aboard. It's good to have you with us today. Appreciate you so much. Uh, we're actually currently flying over, it's called Port Charlotte 
on the west coast of Florida. Uh, we'll also kind of get a little glimpse of Sarasota out here on the left somewhere too. We already flew over Fort Myers and Cape Coral. Uh, Dennis, you're having a problem walking usually before you just use WASD for movement, but now you need to press E key to continue walking. Is that new? Because I just updated Talos at 50. Ah, E? I haven't tried that. Uh, I still use WASD for walking in the Challenger. I didn't know you had to use E. Like, is that like an auto walk or something like that? Because uh, I haven't I haven't noticed that. So I did turn my settings down a little bit. Uh, I think it was my... Uh, I think I turned... My texture quality is all high. My graphics quality is all high. Like HD, stuff like that. My number of world objects is turned down to medium. Um, only because of Tampa. So Tampa itself from Vertical Sim. And big shout out to Vertical Sim. He makes great scenery too. Um, but uh, for me... <laughs> In my computer, uh, we struggle a little bit to fly in the Tampa. Like it's so detailed uh, that my computer is like, <laughs> what? I don't know about Tampa. So um, I had to turn my seat, my, my stuff down for Tampa because I was getting like less than 30 FPS, like mid mid to low 20s uh, in the Challenger. So that's why I don't. I love the airport so much, but I just my computer can't handle it sadly. So I have it turned down a little bit. So when we get down to the ground, you'll see a little less buildings. A little bit less trees um, and even the quality over a marathon might, might be lower because of that uh, do I know Sook Sonic no actually I don't know what that is so the, the reason I decided to work at the airport and I mentioned this in streams and, and times before and just because I mean, I stream and I, I, I play flight sim. I'm, you know, I'm always looking at airplanes on Instagram and stuff like that. And, you know, I always drive by the airport. And I'm sure some of you guys may, may feel the same as, as I do and did. Uh, is that you, you drive next to the airport and you just wish you could get inside, right? Like, you just you drive next to it, you see a plane fly over top of you, but you want to get closer. Like, you want to get, like, right up next to the, to the planes like an air show. And, but you can't. Most airports will not allow as a random person to go inside and just look at the planes that's all you really want to do you don't mean any harm to anybody you're not trying to hurt nobody you're not trying to you know be uh <laughs> nothing you're not you just you just want to see the planes up close and um i was like uh looking to get a new job thank you flying dutchman welcome back well wait what yeah flying dutchman i thought you were already subscribed anyway either way welcome my friend good to see you welcome aboard and uh welcome to the blue arrow family if you weren't a part of it already but um yeah, I just want to be closer to the action, man. Like, we, I love the, the flight sim, and I enjoy the flight sim. I'm, I'm getting a lot of the satisfaction from that, but I, I want to be able to actually um, to be close to it. And again, as I was saying, I was looking to get an extra job um, just to save some money to help kind of get towards my our goal to get to the house. That's the main reason I got a job. Um, and uh, I was like, well, if I got to work, I'm not going to go work at, like, some fast food restaurant or a... Uh, a grocery store or you know i'm just looking for a part-time job right i was like well let me just see if they're hiring anything at the airport and i can just work there because you don't need to have any special education to do that i mean i did go to college so it's not like i couldn't do something else but i, I wanted to get into aviation i want to get closer to the action so i looked online and i found that they were hiring i mean they're hiring everything even right now they're hiring ramp agents they're hiring customer service agents for people who work at the gate uh, if you're good with people uh they're hiring um uh people who clean the planes <laughs> uh they're hiring aircraft fuelers matter of fact the fueler that we use at my job because uh, we don't fuel the plane ourselves we have a, another company that fuels the plane and that company is actually short of staff because i guess a lot of people left i mean i don't know sometimes that says something about it too like maybe maybe it's not a good company to work for i don't know maybe management is bad or something who knows either way they're hiring because they they're they're low they, they need people um so I know fuelers are hiring, uh, and this is different for every airport, every city. Um, but that's just what I what I see every day. Um, yeah, just cleaning crew. Uh, I mean, airport ops. Like I mean, literally everything. Dispatcher. Everybody's hiring. Period. Everybody in aviation is hiring. So if you're trying to get into it, maybe you want to be a pilot still. It doesn't stop you from becoming a pilot. Uh, it might help you to get there. Not that you're going to find a new opportunity <laughs> because of working there. It's a very different. You still got to go to the school uh, or get a, you know get your license and whatnot. But 
Um, it'll, lead, it'll inspire you every day. It'll uh, encourage you to enjoy doing what you do. F1 for the win. Let me catch up in the chat, man. Uh, do I still have a main job? Yes, yes, I do. And yes, it's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, so basically, today's schedule, uh, I woke up. I woke up actually really early today because I, I need to do this yesterday, but I didn't. Uh, so I woke up early this morning. This is kind of like a day in the life of blue games. <laughs> Not of a streamer, just of blue games. I woke up early this morning and I planned my whole week of streaming. I usually do that on Saturday night or Sunday, but I couldn't do it yesterday, so I did it today. Planned a whole week of streams. Uh, I made, I already pre-made the streams, like, like they're ready, to, they're on private, but I'll make, whatever. Made today's thumbnail, I made a bunch of thumbnails for the rest of the week, did all that stuff, that was, and then uh, came about 8 a.m. This is all before 8 a.m. this morning, and then, um, uh, there's 10,000 feet. Uh, and then I went to my, I did my usual work, which is at home, so I didn't have to leave or go anywhere, thank God. Um, but I did my usual work uh, for a little bit, and then, uh, and then now we're here. Now we're streaming, and then when I finish streaming, I had to go back to doing that again, put our speed rakes out. And then uh, at, I think tonight at like 7.45 or 7 o'clock, uh, I got to go to the airport and work there for a few hours, so. That's just today. It's not every day. Tomorrow, I actually don't work at the airport. So, it's be the same stuff, except not working at the airport. All right, let's do our checklist for descent. Descent checklist. Shoulder harness. Shoulder harness. Good. Secure. Passenger signs. I can't hear this guy. Let's go, uh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, reach back here and grab this. Much quieter. And then I can turn up the sound of X-Plane so I can hear it. Got some overcast clouds here, and uh, what was that? Passenger signs. On. On or auto. Pressurization. Set. Set. Fuel quantity and balance. Uh, fuel quantity balance is good. Checked. FMS landing data charts. Landing data and charts are ready. Programmed. Set. Approach briefing. Approach briefing. Guys, we are going to be landing on runway 28. It will be an RNAV approach. Um, we'll be going via Ruki. We'll make the call on the line. I'll, I'll basically just talk to you guys through the whole thing. So. Reviewed. VNAV transition flight level. We've already done that. Set. Descent checklist complete. In range checklist next. All right, we're not in range just yet, I don't think. Unless that's the airport right there. No, it's not. That's cruise. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and call the FBO. Um, I think I think the phone is back here. Hot start flight support. Jenny speaking. How can we help? Uh, please prepare. Let's see, what is it? Uh, yeah, please prepare the van for our pastors when we arrive. Yes. Understood. We'll have that ready for you. Anything else? We should have turned right. Uh, also, if you can get me the fuel truck as well. Understood. We'll have that ready for you. Anything else? And just in case we need, we we'll get the DC GPU. I oh, don't no, get the AC GPU. Understood. We'll have that ready for you. Anything else? Right, that's it, Jenny. We'll see you soon. Always a pleasure. Take care. All right, cool. So we are just south of the field right now. I'm going to switch over to heading mode, make a right 180. And that'll put us on a left downwind runway, runway 28 into Tampa Bay. Wolf Gaming, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. A dog's doing good. He's back there hanging out. Hanging out. I love this plane so much. Yeah, 
In a perfect world, this plane would be in Microsoft Flight Sim. <laughs> in a perfect world, this plane would be in Microsoft Flight Sim. Oh, I would love that so much. All right, we need to make another 90 degrees to the right here. Our airport is not this one. That is uh, it's actually an Air Force base right there. Our airport is out here. Uh, could share a little first day story from my airport job. Uh, let's see who's that? Who said that? Dahoney, uh, ask me that again on the return leg. I would love to to share that. Um, but I don't know if we have time. <laughs> We're about to land soon. All right, so uh, land lights are on. Uh, yeah, actually our pulse lights are on. Logo light, don't need them. Everything else on over here looks good. We've already done our descent checklist. Uh, I guess we could be, I don't think we're in range, right? I don't know that we would be in range. But wait till we turn our base leg to do that. And again, guys, we do have one more giveaway today uh, for the uh, Marathon Airport. I'm trying to think of when we should do it. Maybe we'll do it in route heading back. Yeah, I think maybe we'll do it like a climb at our top of climb. We all head back. Uh, can I fly the 737 MAX 8 in the Blue Arrow livery? Uh, I don't think we've made a Blue Arrow livery for the MAX. How are we doing here? Are we are we far off? I can't see my screen. And I want to zoom it out. Is it this one? Nope, this one. I right, make a left turn, I think. Can't zoom. There it is. Uh, did we choose the right airport or runway? Am I am I confused? Am I confused? Thank you so much, Adam, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. It was great to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah, because we want runway 28. Runway 28 runs east to west. Either way, we need to make a left turn. So let's go ahead and turn. We'll hide that. I think we're lost. <laughs> Maybe we're not going the direction I thought we were going. Uh, you tried to, to download the Max Design 737 Max and says page not found. Christopher Ramirez, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, that sucks that your computer couldn't handle Star Citizen because I, I definitely think it, I don't know. Elite and Dangerous is good too uh, for space games um but i don't know i've tried them i tried both and i prefer star citizen only because of graphics honestly i know elite and dangerous has changed since the last time i played it i think it did get better all right where is this airport i think that's it right there all right there's our airport and there's our runway yeah so i don't know why can i hide this there we go Okay, yeah, I was I was turned around, so it is gonna be this is this is actually correct. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, I can't figure out how. There we go. I right, we at two thousand feet, so we're too high. Two thousand vertical speed. Where's vertical speed at? There it is. Stop it. Okay, you are you are annoying me now. Buttons. 
Oh, because VNAV is on, I can't use variable speed. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I prefer Star Citizen over Elite and Dangerous. It's just, yeah. And I got people on Discord now that I'm, I've been gaming with lately that's freaking uh, playing it. And it's, you know, I'm not going to lie, it's making me want to play it too. But uh, I, I know that I feel like playing Star Citizen is a commitment in the same way. We're turning left now. In the same way that DCS World is a commitment. Why is it a commitment? Because these games are so complex and they have so much to them that like you can't just jump in and just know how to do everything like, you gotta actually like watch a tutorial <laughs> on how to do this how to do that um and i haven't played star citizen in probably uh, maybe a year now i don't know and i have to relearn it and once i play it i'm gonna get addicted to it and i'm gonna want to play it all the time and i just know how it is i just know how it is all right we're on uh, on a long final we're trying to lose some altitude. We're too high. There's our airfield right there. How are we doing on time? We are planning on doing a second leg today. It's going to be an interesting landing because I haven't done this in a while. All right. I think uh, since we're doing visual... We'll take over from here. So I'm going to get set up here. And hopefully I will be on the ground safely. <laughs> here we go. Alright. Autopilot off. My controls. That was our V-speed here. I got the runway in sight. Tampa traffic challenger 16 Bravo is on a 10 mile final runway 28 visual. Tampa. That's altitude. I want it to change speed. Thrust versus our arms. Go ahead and do our next checklist here. In range checklist. APU. Oh no, this should Start. have been done a long time ago. Altimeters. <laughs> Altimeters are set. Reset, cross check. Avionics. Avionics are good. Set. External lights. On. N1 target. Set. Alright, here's the issue. He's waiting to do the APU. So we should have done this a little while, a while ago. APU packs transition. Alright, hurry up, bro. We're on final. 1,000. <laughs> Avail completed. APU generator. On. CAS. Before down indicating. No steer. Arm centered clear. Anti skid. Armed tested. Passenger signs on wing cal anti ice on or off continuous ignition on thrust reversers. Got this guy. Arc. It's gonna be down to the Spoiler. wire with this guy. Rain. Stowed auto flaps too low flaps. <laughs> okay, okay, we're going around, Mr. Flaps. First Officer. One hundred. You're going around. <laughs> oh, that was just horrible timing. Horrible timing. Tampa traffic. Challenger 16 Bravo. Runway 28 going around. Left traffic. Tampa. I know. I should have did my own checklist. <laughs> he was too slow. He was too slow. Yeah, I always forget like where, like what he does. I didn't realize 
Yeah, I thought that was gonna be like the landing checklist, not the I'm freaking 10 miles away from, or 50 miles from the airport checklist. So we'll have to go around and we'll continue to check this from there. Um, I'll go gear up though for now. Nose door. I hope the nose door is shut. Alright, let's level off here. It, it did actually give us our go around altitude and we blew way past that. Uh, Origin, did we do our in-range checklist? What we were doing before landing was our in-range. Matter of fact, we skipped, we skipped half of the in-range checklist because <laughs> we were, we were two miles away from the airport. So let me see if I can go back. Hold on. Cass. Oh. After landing, engine secure and. No further, no further check, no further checklists. Hold on, I gotta reset it. I screwed it all up. Uh, where is it at? Challenger. 2500. Yeah, restart. Engine shutdown checklist. Taxi no, lights. Don't do it right now. After landing checklist. Landing before landing checklist. No. Flaps. In range. There checklist. we go. Thank you. Cass. Cass is Checked. good. In range checklist complete. Okay, so we just before finished the in range checklist. checklist. Before landing checklist. Flaps. Uh, flaps are not set. We're not ready for flaps. We can do some, but not all. Alright, so we're trying to get down to our go around altitude, which is supposed to be 1700 feet. Uh, we're right at it right now. We just got there. Tampa traffic, Challenger 1, 6, Bravo, left, downwind runway 2, 8, Tampa. Yeah, a little slow now. Though so you're still getting used to this. Right, there's 1700 see if we can get the trim out there we go yeah weather's not too bad out here and that's far enough we'll make our left turn tampa traffic challenger 16 bravo now left base to uh, runway 28 uh, tampa Again, no ILS here. We're doing the RNAV. Uh, now with the go around, we're not reshooting the entire RNAV. We're going about halfway in. But you lose a little altitude now. Yep, need to stay ahead of the aircraft. Super important, especially on jets. set our flaps here might be too far how far are we five miles now right, let's just do it flap set set cast all right turning final checked before landing checklist complete after landing checklist next all right now we're ready we'll get the gear back down going very wide Tampa Bay traffic Challenger 16 Bravo now five mile final on the visual runway 28 Tampa we're well within our limits guys no bank ain't going that one flaps are down gear is down lights are on fuel is good and we're a little high
Gonna lose some speed and let the nose drop. Not gonna be too much of a crosswind, so should be, and I'm gonna jinx myself here, a pretty easy landing. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, whenever it comes time to fly real planes, I feel like the, the instructor is going to have to remind me to breathe. Because even in the sim, the whole approach, I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Let's get used to this pitch here. Not too much. We're still a little high. I saw one red light there for a second. Got winds going from left to right. About 10 knots. Oh, we got Trav taken off on the crossing runway. He's clear. And here we come. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. One sixty-eight, and we're coming to a stop. Reverse was a full. All of this runway, I guess. Beautiful. Uh oh, okay. Having trouble with the. <laughs> we'll make it right here. This should be Charlie. And we we'll have to turn around to cross those runways again. We should have turned left, actually. Now I think about it. Uh, this is 10. I'm actually gonna. Uh, we, yeah, we'll just go this way. So we're on Charlie. We need to make a right on November and another right on Delta. Make sure way is clear. This is a very, like, I feel like this is a very sketchy place to land because you have to cross literally all the runways to get to where you want to go. Uh, looks like the runway is clear though. Yeah, it is. Tampa traffic. Tra Challenger 16 Bravo is clear of runway 10 now, crossing runway 1 right on November. Yeah, it felt pretty good. It felt pretty good. The landing felt pretty good. Um, we probably won't watch that replay. Uh, we'll watch the replay back in, uh, in Marathon. Uh, we're already behind on time, so. Like another right right here. Actually, we'll wait for the next one. Take it on uh, Echo. Flaps up. And Tampa Bay traffic. Challenger 16 Bravo is crossing our way 10 at Echo to the FBO. Tampa traffic. My taxi skills are horrible today. Like worse than usual. All right, after check, uh, landing checklist, after please. After landing checklist. Landing, call off. Anti-collision lights. Hold on, we're not clear yet. It's so one thing I really do enjoy about flying into Tampa, is uh, they have a really very really nice FBO area Off. over here. Continuous ignition. Off. Windshield heat. Off. Probes. <phone rings> Off. Wing anti-ice. Oh, look at the little plane. Off. Cal anti-ice. <laughs> on or off spoilers stowed flaps zero ATC TCAS alt on radar mode standby after landing checklist complete gotta Engine work on my taxi next. I really gotta work on my taxi we're gonna park under shelter Tampa traffic challenger 16 Bravo is now clear of all runways.
And what did it say? 168 was our uh, landing rate. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, so we will not secure the aircraft. We're going to just uh, do a quick turnaround. Actually, I see landing lights off in the distance. Somebody's landing behind us. Might be that Learjet that took off with us earlier. It just might be. So we're going to drop stop here. We're going to pick up some more passengers and uh, say farewell to the ones we had. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the ride. Hopefully it was smooth enough for you besides the taxing part. And we'll head back to Marathon Key West. Is that like a line to taxi on? Yeah, it is. Actually going to park on the right side of it because I know I'm going to have to, I'm going to need uh, services. So we're going to purposefully not get on that line. Right here should be good enough. And we'll set the parking brake. We'll tell the ground crew they can go ahead and set the chocks as well. So. There we go. And we'll kill the engines. And I think that's be the shutdown Engine checklist. Shutdown checklist. Parking set. Reverse thrust. Stowed. Generators one and two. Generators one and two off. Off. Engine two shut down. I think I should have waited <laughs> to Fuel shut system. them off. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Check. Engine one shut down. Yep. Check ITT below three yep. anti ice. Yep. Off. Beacon. Beacon. Off. Yep. Learjet just no landed. Steer. No steer. Off. Off. ATC TCAS. ATC TCAS. I uh, think that is. Uh, where is that again? I forgot where that is. Yeah, good thing ATC wasn't on because I don't remember where it, that. Oh, it's right here. It's already off. Standby zero. Parking brake if chalked. Uh, we're good. Yeah. Off. Passenger signs. Passenger signs. It off. Off. Cabin differential. Zero PSI. Engine shutdown checklist complete. All right, beautiful. Securing checklist next. All right, we will not do the securing checklist because we have another flight to do. So we're going to uh, open the doors up, let the passengers off, get some more packs in, and then head back to Marathon. And again, we do have one more giveaway to do. We'll do that giveaway once we get to cruise uh, or our flight number two, head back to Marathon. So we we'll get the door right back open. Uh, why isn't ATC on? Because I don't know. <laughs> they're, not, they're not 24 seven. Thank you, Captain. Always such a pleasure flying with you. Thank you. Uh, so give nice a real quick. Your day. You too. So we get a real quick shout out to all of our passengers today. Our passengers were Nick Quippers, World Voyager, James. Matter of fact, World Voyager was our first giveaway winner. Ethan right, Aviation, Captain, Clifton AFM, and Just Gavin Chapman. Or would you like to go tanks full today? Uh, yep, and the fuel is here, so we'll go ahead and get our fuel for our second flight. Let me find out how much fuel we need really quick. New flight. We'll hop on to, uh... uh... Hold on, man. I'll hop on to Simbrief. Uh, so we have right now... 1950. And we need, let me see. Uh, we're going to KTPAs. Okay, was it KTMH? KTPA or MTH? I always I always spell it wrong. KMTH. Isn't there a KTMH somewhere? I don't know. All right, Challenger, Challenger, Challenger. Hold on, guys. Oh, that's what we just did. Not, I did it backwards. ATPA. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Analyze. Generate our OFP. 
Let's see what we get. Yep, no chiropractor needed today. Nice soft landing. Uh, Lockwood, how are you? What's the new wing engine wash? I don't understand what you're asking, uh, Lockwood. What are you referring to? Uh, no, sorry, your your ticket does not cover both flights. It was only a one-way ticket. You gotta pay for your second flight. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the way it is bro i'm sorry um matter of fact while we're waiting for the fuel numbers uh the next six people to put airplane motors in the chat will be our next six passengers for our return leg so throw that in the chat the first six that i see will be our six passengers for our next leg free trip down to marathon and a trip a chance to win the free marathon scenery. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sky. Da, da, da. All right, cool. So we need 3,628. So that's not a whole lot. Let me get the calculator open. While you guys figure life out over there. Minus 1940. That's 1688. So we need. 300 pounds 300 gallons so give me 300 gallons all right i'm gonna go start Beautiful. up the pump all right while he's pumping that we'll go find out who our next set of passengers are passengers are i'm just gonna walk over here and then walk into the fbo watch this sick <laughs> Find out who's in our manifest for us now. So who's waiting for us, Jenny? Welcome to Hot Start Flight Support. How can we help you today? Uh, we're November 16th, X-Ray Bravo. Estimated time of departure is about 15 minutes from now. So that's around here somewhere. Uh, crew, we got three crew as usual. And we have six more passengers. Uh, no GPU needed. No, that's needed. Um, and let's see who is, who who is it though? Who who was the first six? Let's find out. Who the first six was. Uh, we got Christopher Ramirez on this leg. Got you. I got you, buddy. And we got Deuce Legend on this leg. I have a feeling we're going to see a double. Like, somebody's going to get the return leg. I want to see who gets the return leg. Uh, James is our first person to get on the return leg who was on the first flight. He, he, has, he has a quick keyboard over there. He's a fast typer. Jacob Singer is going to be on this flight as well. I got you, Jacob. Welcome aboard, my friend. Jacob Singer also is at four. I need two more. Origin Code has made it onto this flight. And our last person is going to be Kid Named Kenny on board. So as our six passengers, Christopher Ramirez, Deuce Legend, James, Jacob Singer, Origin Code, and Kenny. All going to be on our return leg flight back. Um, the giveaway, I'll let you guys know here in just a little bit. Uh, again, we'll pull the giveaway for when we get to cruise. It's going to be available for everybody. It's not just the six people that I just named. It's everybody is is qualified. Uh, as long as you have X Plan 11 as the only requirement. Um, all right, so let's go and sign this paperwork. Of course, Captain. I'll get that organized for you right away. Thank you, Jenny. I like how she actually has F mod too. So like when you walk away from her, you see you hear her like in the distance. It's pretty cool. Um, back up to our aircraft. We can see a bonanza out there. That's pretty sweet. Taxing over to find somewhere to go. And as we should do every flight, we'll do a quick walk around. Make sure we didn't break anything. We didn't hit any birds, anything crazy on the way in. Everything looks pretty good to me so far. No ice, no nothing. It's very nice weather out here in, in Florida today. The fuel is still fueling us up. We're on APU power right now. Nav lights look good. Winglets look good. Flaps look good. Just for the heck of it, we're gonna go back here and... Can I click on this? No, I can't click on that. Click on this? What is this? In? Oh, this is the uh, the water and stuff. Yeah. So we're good on water. What is this one? I think this is the, uh, the DC power? Yeah, DC power. Cool, cool. 
one of the other things that I do like to do at work, um, I don't know that every company does this, I noticed, um, but I know that our company does it. And that is we do walk arounds uh, for every flight that comes in. Uh, the pilot does his walk around as well, but we do our own walk around. Um, as, when a plane arrives, we do a walk around and then when the plane, right before the plane leaves, we do another walk around, make sure no doors are left open or anything, or nothing, no damage. All right, so we're gonna get set up for our second flight. It'd be pretty basic. So back down to our FMC, our MCDU. We'll do everything starting over. So we'll go to status. Bam. Bam. Do it. Like kind of delayed, so I always confused if it's actually done it. All right, that's good. Position in it. Uh, we are now at Kilo Tampa. Sorry, <laughs> Kilo Tango. <laughs> that makes sense, Kilo Tampa. Uh, let's do it in, in cities. So we, we're in a Kentucky, uh, Tampa, Atlanta, Mississippi, or Minnesota. Wait, I'm, now I'm all backwards. KTPA, oh yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Atlanta, there we go. <laughs> it makes no sense. We'll go over and get our position again. I should definitely not do it that way because I'll legit start calling stuff Tampa when it's supposed to be Tango. Uh, let's go over to do, 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 clear that, clear that. Uh, let's go back to index route menu. Did I did I did I already do that flight plan? I did. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and file that with Vatsim first, and it's going to require me to disconnect from Vatsim. And while we're doing this, it'd be nice to get some jams going in here. But not that one. Yeah, I'll rock that. And I like to have music when we're doing our turnarounds. All right, file flight plan. Yes, please. Uh, Pulse, no, I do not have my PPL, uh, but yes, I am working towards it. I have one hour now. Yeah, I got one hour. That's how far I've gotten. I have one hour and I've completed ground school twice. I say anything to you? <laughs> Connect that sim. Uh, cool. All right, flight plans filed. Let's go ahead and grab our flight plan recall from data link. Kilo t uh, Tango Alpha. So, nope, that's not right. Kilo Tango Papa Alpha. Drop that right there. And Kilo Mike Tango Hotel. That's Marathon Key West International. And we'll go to, do, 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 where's that? How do I do this again? Route menu, data link, send. Send, yeah. <laughs> uh, is the 737 Max still available? I assume so. I, I haven't personally flown it in a while. Uh, but I have seen a few other streamers flying it recently, so I'm assuming it's still available. But I don't actually know. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Uh, from out of Tampa, let me get my new flight stuff on my iPad too. Much easier for me to... More easy and efficient. I would assume we were we use the same runway we landed on, 28. But we could be wrong. Yep, 2-8. Alright, so departure. Departure, departure, and... Uh, we actually do have a departure. So we're going 2-8 via the Gandhi 8 Sabi. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? says no flight plan uh, I forgot to can I go back uh, secondary flight plan activate yeah I forgot to activate it oh hello captain it's Jenny from hot start flight support your passengers have arrived shall I have them brought to the plane uh, yes of course 
Bring them on in. Oh wait, I gotta say yes. Understood. Yeah. They'll be there in a couple of minutes. Anything else? Nothing else. We're good. Oh, Always good a here. pleasure. Take care. It's something about this song <laughs> that just completely changes my whole vibe. Like it just, yeah. Something about this song. Uh, where was I? All right, Jenny calling us and stuff. Uh, Vectors, Gandhi. Execute that. Like I want more of this song in my life. Uh, departure, arrival, index, arrival, uh, runway seven, Arnav. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna go through Carnu or not. Actually, it says runway two five. What should we do, guys? Runway two five or runway seven? I kind of want to do seven. What's the win right now over there? Uh, name of this song is. You gotta notice how my, my whole voice changed when this song came on. You gotta notice that. Uh, this song's called Tea House Event by S I N Y Cine. That's that good coffee house music right here. Like, this is what I expect to hear when, I, when I'm boarding a Challenger 650 on the radio. You know what I mean? All right, I'm doing 7, because I'm going to do 7. And I think I saw an issue with the other side that he hasn't fixed, too, so... Do -do 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 -do. All right, that's set. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, we'll do Carnu. Carnu makes sense. Excuse that, and we're done in our flight plan with our legs page. Next, looks good. We have do one discontinuity. We're gonna get rid of that discontinuity. I'm gonna click here, previous page, click there. And execute one more time. Now let's go to our perf page. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, perf in it. I like this song too. Uh, six passengers on board, and they are carrying a little bit more baggage. 750 coming out of Tampa for a nice long vacation. Uh, cruising at 35,000 feet. 35,000. I'm good. That's great to hear. Well, we're all set back there, so we can get going anytime. All right, passengers are ready, and they're hurrying me up. We're about ready to, uh, about to say push. We're not pushing. Uh, we're about ready to go, so don't worry. Just chill out, relax, enjoy the music, enjoy your coffee, your sodas, whatever it is back there, your snacks, your fruit snacks, your sour punch straws, and uh, we'll be ready to go here in a second. All right, uh, we just got to finish a couple things in here. So let's get our uh, weather here in Tampa. Once again, updated weather in Tampa right now is 220 at 10. So, oh, Jacksonville Center just came online. That does not affect us at all. Uh, 220 slash 10. And outside temperature is 28, 28. So it is 82 degrees Fahrenheit out here as well. How cold is it here where I'm at right now in like real life? It is 50, 62 and sunny. That's probably really nice right now. Yeah. I kind of wish I worked a little earlier, like in the day. I work at night tonight. Uh, 3017 is on altimeter. 30.17. All right, that's good. Next page. And here's where you asked earlier. Somebody came and was asking, how do you calculate the CG? I don't know. Um, I should know, but I don't, so I just skip it. So we're gonna send that V speeds to our main screen, and uh, we're, we're good to go. So that's asking to check fuel destination. Hit message twice. I should get rid of that. That was from earlier. He should be done fueling us. We have 1,800. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. Yeah, forgot to turn this guy on. He can't fuel us if this is not on. So he has not been pumping fuel this whole time. We've been waiting for him. But now we gotta wait for that. We were ready to. I was about ready to go. 
All right, what he can do though is uh, we'll go ahead and call the ground crew and say, hey, you can disconnect the power, bro. You don't need it. I like this song too. What is it like? This is my usual playlist. It just like found a sweet spot for me today. Like it's like it's all shuffle. Oh, I thought this was the song one. It's the, instru the instrument was good too though. One thing I wonder. Yeah, he's pumping fuel now. I wonder. Uh oh, hold on. No, stop it. Stop it. My mouse is stuck. My mouse is stuck. It's stuck. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't stop moving my mouse. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. I want to go and see if we can see the guy. I love how these clouds look on the ground. It looks amazing. I want to see if we can see the guy actually pumping it from out here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's not making any lights. I guess there's no indicator out here. To sh like in the Airbus, there's like a number on there. It shows you how much fuel. Well, I guess it doesn't do that in this plane. Thank you, Drewski. What's up, man? Thank you so much. Uh, did the stream start yet? We're halfway, man. We got, uh, we're doing our second leg right now. We're just waiting for the fueler to finish up and then we're ready to go. I really I hate that I forgot to do that. You know, the media closes before I forget to do that too. Wait, do I need to unclick the buttons? Cause I clicked the buttons inside. Total moment divided by total weight is how you calculate CG. Uh, pause, use the EFB to use it to do it on the four flight and uh, the company FB as well. Yeah, I wonder if they want us to do all that <laughs> in the sim. <laughs> I usually get that. How do we usually get our CG in other planes? I can't remember now. Refueling is complete. Oh, he's done. Do you need anything else? No, nah, we're good, bro. Thank you. We're ready to get out of here. I'm gonna go start up Wait, no. I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. Uh, refuel. I clicked the wrong button. I think I might have just told him to pump another 300 pounds. And I don't know how to tell him to stop. Where's the phone at? Where's my phone at? I don't want any more fuel. Hey, my mouse keeps getting Hot stuck. Flight support. Jenny speaking. How can we help? Uh, can I request to stop fueling? Is that possible? Please come take my passport to the terminal. No. Don't want Always that. A pleasure. Take care. Is he really? I think he, I think he's pumping another 300 gallons. There's way more fuel than we need. Am <laughs> I trying to just shut it on him? <laughs> Bro, hey, yo. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Don't need any more fuel. Sir. You can stop now. Hey! Okay, stop hitting yourself. Uh, sir, I don't need any more fuel. You can stop. Okay, well, we got to deal with it. We'll have to wait. How y'all doing? Uh, I do need to set up my sim toolkit for the next flight, so I could do that while I'm waiting for him to to do things. Can y'all see my doggy? <laughs> y'all can't see him, huh? Can you see him? You can't see him. He's hiding. He knows all the blind spots of the cameras. 
Yes, he does. Alright, uh, let's see. Ooh. All right, cool. Our flight plan is set up for our return leg. And what I'm going to do is stall and show you guys our flight plan. Because, you know, we're just waiting for the fueler. All right, this is the Sim Toolkit Pro window. I know a lot of you guys are Valanta fans. I also like Valanta. Valanta does a lot of great things. Uh, there's a few things that it doesn't do that I like that Sim Toolkit does. And that's why I choose to use Sim Toolkit Pro. Um, you can choose to do whatever you like. Uh, you can see there's now ATC up the East Coast everywhere except where, where we are. Because that's, you know, just how it, life works. I don't think he controls Tampa. I highly doubt it does, even though it shows that it is. No. Um, so we're going to be taking the east side of Florida. Sorry, west side of Florida down over St. Petersburg, Sarasota, Fort Myers, Cape Corral. All the way down to the Keys, the Florida Keys down in, uh, not Key West, but Marathon. You can hear him whining outside. That's where we're landing at. We're going to park right over here. So where we started at. We're landing on way 7, which is this one on this side. So landing to the northeast. And that's pretty it. That's as simple. That's as simple as it is. That's all we got going on today. Can I change this to the other version? Satellite map. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, sadly, my sim doesn't look like this, per se. But it's going to be a beautiful flight anyways. All right, is he done yet? But it's been it's been long enough. Be ready to go. Is this my playlist? Or is this? Can I play this online? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is on my playlist. I'm just making sure. I, haven't, I guess I haven't listened to it in a while. Uh -oh. No, stop. Stop doing that. I keep messing up my cameras. Uh, is he ready? Like, I'm really waiting for him. Is complete, Captain. Do you need anything else? I did. So whenever you hover back over, pump more fuel, it gives him, it give, it tells him whatever you told him last. So instead of 300 pounds, we got 600 pounds. So we have a bunch of extra fuel. So All we're right. dead. We're good. I'm we're done. Go we're ready to go. What? Did you hear him? I'm not taking any more fuel. I am not taking any more fuel. Turn it off. Turn it off. Get out of here. I'm not. I'm not even gonna pay for fuel. We're just gonna go. All right, to my checklist. We're just gonna go. Uh, where's my do, 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 do checklist? Uh, just to restart all checklists. Flight compartment checklist. Ace engine start checklist. Doors. All right, so doors. Did I click yes, completely refuel? Oh my God. I don't know how I keep misclicking. I'm having mouse problems today. I'm having trouble clicking on anything. So we're just gonna go and uh, he can figure out what that means later on. Close the door, please. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, if we may please have your attention. All right, we're already on AP power. All we got to do is really just start the engine, so fuel pumps on. This is probably very dangerous. <laughs> this is probably really dangerous. He has the freaking thing on and everything. FAA's regulations require passengers to observe the lighted seatbelt. All right, that's my checklist here. So fuel panel is good. Bleed air is good. Need to open these up. During takeoff and landing, seatbelts. Anti-skid. All the hydraulics are on. 
Anti-ice is good. Mercy lights are armed. Passive signs are set. Their shield is all right. Smoking is not allowed while the aircraft is on the ground or any time the no smoking Yeah, no one will know. We'll just have a a fuel hose hanging from our plane for the next 200 miles. Smoking is Ah, see. Spoilers to auto at set. Tampering with Press reverses are arm, trim, stab, all that should be set. Yep. Doors are closed, parking brick set. Uh, let's go ahead and rem uh, move the chucks. One overwing emergency exit on the right hand side of the cabin. And ignition. We'll use ignition A this time. And starting engine one engine two. To open the overwing emergency exit door. I didn't even ask. I just did it. And then pull the door inward into the cabin. <laughs> to open the main passenger door. Or this way. Raise the red handle and oh, he gave me the, the thumbs out. down. In the event of is it starting? It is starting. We're doing it anyways. Lighting will illuminate and floor path lighting will direct you to the exits. The You're feeling me seriously though? Indicated by illuminated red Bro, we got enough fuel to get to LA. In the unlikely event that there is a loss of cabin pressurization, oxygen masks. Uh, Papa says you can import from Simbrief to the Tolis. Cool, man. I didn't know. I didn't know you could do that. I need to learn how. Alright, starting engine one. And breathe normally. And I guess we'll ask because we forgot to ask. Oxygen is flowing to the mask. To adjust the mask. Pull the straps on the sides. Thumbs down. By the way, guys, um, something a lot of people don't know, and I didn't know either, is that if you point to an engine is not allowed when oxygen and you do the infinity sign with your wand or hand on board, like this, located at both the forward and I believe I might be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. But it basically means engine fire. But don't do that. I right, let the dog out. He's really tripping. We invite you to review the passenger briefing cards for all other safety. All right, right engine's all good. Left engine looks to be all good. Fuel are still outside trying to do things. <laughs> Don't know why. I wonder if I pull off if he'll stay attached. Alright, doors are shut. Close. Parking brakes on. Beacon on. Checked. Fuel on. pumps on. Ignition on. on. Ignition two. Checked. Engine start checklist complete. Beautiful. After, After start checklist. Start checklist. checklist. Generator one and two. On. Check. AC and DC. Must be Ignition. Taxi. Take off and landing. Disarmed. Packs. The use of Packs on. Electronic devices 14 stage. Is not permitted during taxi, take off and landing. Cowl anti ice. Once the aircraft on. takes off, check 45 the crew will inform you when check. and which types of portable electronic devices are permitted check. to be used. Stowed auto. Flight now, spoilers. If you've gone over check. The safety instructions. Stowed. Please Cowl sit anti ice. Back and enjoy your flight. If taxi there are checklist. Any questions, please taxi do not lights. hesitate to ask your flight crew. On. Wing and cowl anti ice. Norm on or off. Brakes and steering. Checked. Reverse thrust. Checked. Yeah. If taxiing the D ice, false checklist here until a paper D ice checklist is complete. Flaps. 20. Altimeters. Altimeter uh, set. Set and cross checked. Radar weather. On. Takeoff briefing. Uh, Review. yeah, sure. Taxi checklist complete. Before takeoff checklist next. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get out of here. Beacon light is on. Um, everything is good. Taxi checklist is complete. Uh, if we look out of our right window, we'll see the fueler is still tr oh! attempting to be connected, even though we've already. You know, close everything. So we'll see what happens when we move. Cooper, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Uh, he is actually in the way, in the way of our right wing, uh, which is a very bad thing. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So parking brake off. I don't know how long he'll stay there. Okay. Oh, he left the thing open. 
He left the he left the door open. <laughs> I want to go till we get clear of uh, the sh the overhang. Like a right turn, go back to two eight. We got six new passengers on board. Actually, we have one person who's been on uh, now on his second ride today. So. Gonna grab my charts for our departure. Gandhi 8 RNAV. And back to Marathon we go. So a question in chat, should I get back out of the plane and, and go close the fuel door or should I just leave it on for the whole flight? I'm inter uh, it's interesting that I'm not getting like a cast warning. I don't think. Oh, it does say external door open on the uh, on the MFD. All right, we have Romeo One taxiing via Sierra, and we are in Tampa. Tampa Bay traffic. Challenger One Six Bravo is taxiing the runway Two Eight via Sierra Sierra One Tampa. I, I'm getting kind of like mixed so some of you guys are saying close it some of you guys are saying shut it I mean uh actually no everybody's saying close it okay <laughs> I'll close it when we hold it short I gotta open the door and stuff to get out there and close it I would let one of the passengers go do it did my camera move I think it did I wonder. I, I, that's the thing. I, I'm the kind of person who's just curious. Like I, I kind of want to act like I didn't know it was open, just to see what other other systems that it would affect. Because you know the Challenger has a lot of surprises. Like, would we get a de depressurization because of it? I think we should find out. <laughs> I think we should find out what happens if you leave the fuel door open. I don't know what would happen in real life. I don't think anything would happen. Matter of fact, I have personally at work, working on the ramp, I've seen multiple planes fly in with their fuel doors open. Or not even the fuel door, like the fuel cap. Uh, it's gone. Just nobody knows where it went. We don't know if it, it, can't, if it left that way. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the cap is on. So technically nothing should happen except that door should just break off in the wind. That's most likely not going to happen. But Jesse says we should definitely not. And uh, I don't know. Once we get in the air, though, we can't we can't turn back. But I guess I have to go with the chat's opinion and and, and fix it. So I'll I'll go do it. You guys, you guys want to be all official today? That's okay. All right, parking brakes set. I gotta get up and uh, take care of that. Hold on, guys. Yes, I remember the first time I saw a, a plane come in uh, with its. Uh, fuel cap off. I was like, that doesn't look good. Door. 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 And uh, maintenance Door. did come and put a new one on there, Door. but. Door. Door. Might be a little loud out here. Come on, move. Alright, be happy. Did you, did you subscribe just for that? Liam, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. I have a feeling that you like, hey, he went and closed the door. He said, that's, I'm subscribing to this guy. Thank you so much. Though. Welcome aboard, and it's time to take off. Stereo copy. I'm not looking at the stuff anymore. My track IR has now stopped working. I don't know why. 
Oh, now there it is. Uh, did we do before takeoff thingy? Before takeoff checklist. Passenger signs. Advise on. Probes. On. Windshield heat. DRS active. Windshield anti-ice. <laughs> Norm on or off. Continuous ignition. On. ATC TCAS. TARA. Supplemental ground wing anti-ice panel. Checked. CAS. Takeoff config OK. Takeoff config OK. Checked. Landing pulse recog lights. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. After takeoff checklist next. All right, copy. Tampa Bay traffic, Challenger 16 Bravo, taking off runway 28, departing to the south, uh, Tampa traffic. All right, park and brake, uh, let's go ahead and release those. Go. I yaw damper apparently is not on, I gotta turn it back on. Order, fellow. There we go. All right, we're rolling. Power, yeah, we got Amber. Got Amber. I can't do it right now. I'll do it later. 80 knots. Let's keep it on the center line. B1 and rotate. All aboard! Beautiful lift off, positive rate, gear up. Gonna fly runway heading for a bit. Here comes the gear, gear is up. Almost forgot the chrono. Chrono's on. At the tag. After take there we go. Checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Flaps zero. zero. I guess trim. Thrust Off. Ignition. Off. Pressurization. Checked. Pax transition. Uh, let's put it here. Completed. N1. Climb set. APU generator. Off. APU. Shut down. Passenger signs. Hold on. On, off, or auto. Trying to figure Cats. out how to get my range to change. Come on, range. Before we die out here. Oh, I hate this button. I absolutely, I love this plane, but I hate that button. Uh, let's see if nav works. Like trying to find the spot to get it to change it's horrible there it is she I right, left turn I right, uh, autopilot's not on that's why there we go All right, flaps are up. Bit sketchy on the takeoff. Had trouble finding the, uh, the keys I wanted to do.
I can dig it. I can dig it. It is definitely good looking. Uh, Joey, to answer your question, uh, it's not a it's not a big jump from CRJ. It's not a big jump at all. Not a big jump at all. Uh, so if you're like familiar with flying a CRJ, familiar with the cockpit of a CRJ, then a lot of the buttons in this plane are in the same place because this is technically an early version of the CRJ, I believe. Yeah, 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 it is. So this is a another version of a CRJ, except this one is much better. <laughs> so climbing out now out of Tampa Bay, Florida, enjoying the wing view here. We haven't looked much in the cabin, so get a little bit of cabin views going. Heading southbound now, it should be. The Gandhi 8 departure. Currently flying over St. Petersburg. That's, I keep pressing the wrong button. The keyboard is really. Matter of fact, I think that airport off our lot, left wing right there, I think that airport is the one they converted into a uh, a racetrack. Or at least once a year. Actually, there's traffic right there. Plane. A 730, a United 737. Might be taken off out of there or something. Uh, we'll actually be flying a CRJ on Wednesday this week. I haven't flown in forever. Hopefully it's not too hard to figure out. <laughs> I've been flying a CRJ a long time, so I, I assume it wouldn't be too difficult to fly it since I've been flying this, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, made by different developers, so very, very different. But we'll be flying a CRJ in Canada on Wednesday. Uh, again, guys, we are doing another giveaway. We'll do the giveaway at the top of climb. So when we get to 35,000 feet, uh, we will draw for the next giveaway. Let's jump into VNAV. And we are past 18,000 feet, so we can go back into standard for barrel. There we go. And lights should have went off. I thought he should have turned the lights off. Is there like a climb checklist or does it stop at the... Does it stop here? The thing I love about this plane is that there's so much that you can look at and mess with and click and change and stuff like that. But uh, it also can be the downside of it if you know if you don't fly it that often, uh, you will definitely struggle to get the hang of it because I feel like the more you fly it, the more you get used to where things are. Uh, you get like a good system on on setting certain things up. Um, but if you're not flying it a bunch, then you're just kind of like like I'm right now stumbling around the controls trying to find this, trying to find that. Um, because I haven't flown it in a little bit. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Looking for my checklist. Right there. But there's multiple checklists. And there should be a way to, to go through them. But I don't think that's the right way. I thought there was a checklist button. Or am I thinking of a different plane? <laughs> I could have swore there was like a key that said checklist on it. What plane is that? What plane have I been flying lately? Anyways, we're not worried about it. 23,000 feet and climbing. Looking great. Mike dropped. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, what, were you, what were you asking, Mike? Let me see. I, I might have missed it. I'm sorry, man. Looking for your comment, but I don't see it. Yeah, Mike, you got to ask again, man. Sorry, and uh, I see you, the homie. I haven't forgot about you, man. Thanks for reminding me, though. Uh, we'll do that story after the giveaway. Uh, my first day on the ramp story. 
a few versions of that it depends first day on the ramp doing what <laughs> uh let's just get the lights off that's much better and it will turn off the seatbelt signs like to be on the mic drop podcast sure i haven't heard of it what is it about as long as there's nothing crazy yeah i'm down <laughs> uh 7 a.m central standard time it might be okay i'm usually awake that early uh send me a message on discord or send me an email mike we can uh talk more about that speaking of podcasts uh, we have another special podcast on my channel as well coming up this Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, actually, we don't know the time. It might be 7 p.m. Uh, give or take an hour. Uh, but that is a plan this coming up. Uh, I think you guys will definitely enjoy it. Here's our flight plan here. Taking off out of Tampa down to the Florida Keys a Marathon. 354 kilometers, 220 miles. Remaining flight time around 30 minutes as we're passing 28,000 feet. I love this feature right here. Uh, email I am blue games at gmail um, It's also on my about section on YouTube you can get it there Yeah, I can talk YouTube stuff all day. I love you. I love talking that stuff How are we looking So I guess it's okay to just drive off With the uh, fuel guy attached didn't seem to hurt anything We've all only been in the air for 10, 10 minutes. Oh, my computer is pooping on itself. I don't know what's going on. Sounds good, Mike. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm honored that you would think about me. That my wife has texted me. All right, so yeah, tonight I work. Uh, I call it the night shift. It's not all night. It's only like three or four hours. Only going for like one flight. My last. I'm not sure if you guys have been following all my Instagram stories, but I had a. I think it was Saturday. It was raining, like. It wasn't raining bad. It was just cold and raining. So I had all my rain gear on. I had to get some new rain gear. So I didn't get too cold and too wet. It's nothing worse than being cold and wet. I feel like there's some more stuff we can do in here. Oh, yeah. We can get our weather in here, too. I forgot about that. What if we request the weather in... Uh, Request the weather in, in, in Marathon. So Kilo Mike Tango Hotel. How do I do it? Well, let me do it. And why is it still yelling at me? Oh, okay, cool. Depart CLX, receive messages, we'll send message, email. Can I email somebody in here? Can I actually email somebody? Like, what address would it come from? There's no way this stuff works. Fax. Can you imagine sending a fax from a, a flight sim game? Or for a flight sim thing? <laughs> yeah, cold and rainy. Not a good combo. Not outside. Not a... <laughs> but it was good. I, honestly, I it, I think I'm weird, man. Because I, I really enjoyed that night. Uh, working on the ramp in the cold and in the rain. It's, it wasn't even night, actually. It was daytime. Yeah, it was in a day, um, but I enjoyed it. I know everybody else I was working with hated it. Oh, but we want to go to 35, not 36. Everybody else hated it, but I, I liked it. All right, guys, we're leveling off now. 
and as I mentioned earlier, as promised, I have a top of climb giveaway sponsored by Aviation Master. We did a giveaway already at the very beginning of the stream, a surprise giveaway. I didn't advertise it. I was like, boom, surprise giveaway. Uh, had to be there. Uh, what was his name? Uh, who won it? That was uh, World of Voyager won that first giveaway. And they give us back in the giveaway move and bring the music back. Attention pilots, there's an exam going on in London, of course. It's always London. Um, uh, yeah, so we, uh, who's it was uh, a World Voyager won our first giveaway. The giveaway is for Kilo Mike Tango Hotel. That's Marathon Key West International Airport uh, by Aviation Master. Came out recently. I think it came out in the last couple days or so. Um, but we flew out of that airport, and uh, thankfully he gave us a, cop a couple copies to give away today. So one of you, another one of you guys are going to win that right now. So if you want that, if you have X Plane 11 and you're interested in getting some free scenery from Marathon Key West International Airport here in Southern Florida, then I'm gonna give you guys a new keyword. We're gonna use a different one than we did last time. Let's see, what should the keyword be this time? Hmm. Oh, that's cool, look at that. Oh, why am I gear coming down? All right, yeah, that's gonna be the keyword. Gear. <laughs> G E A R exclamation mark G E A R in chat <laughs> for a chance to win K M T H a report on X Plan Eleven. Again, you have to have X Plan Eleven. Type in exclamation mark gear, not just gear, put an exclamation mark gear in the chat. If you don't put the exclamation, it won't go through. Does it, I don't think it matters if it's a, a uppercase or lowercase. Yeah, it's not, it's not case sensitive. So gear in chat to win the giveaway. Give you guys a couple seconds. Once again, we'll shout out today's passengers, Christopher Ramirez, Deuce Legend, James, Jacob Singer, Origin Code, and Kenny, the kid named Kenny. In the back seat with us, we got six packs on board. We are looking good. Cruise in between Tampa and Marathon, Key West, and Florida. Uh, how do you get x Plan 11? You can get it from the Steam. Uh, on PC or you can get it from X Plane's website, which I think it's just xplane.com or something like that uh, you, matter of fact, you can probably get it on sale if you get it from Steam I Personally prefer to get it on their website X Plane 12 is coming out very soon um, There may be a deal coming up that like if you buy X Plane 11 you get X Plane 12 half off or free or something I don't know. We can't confirm that. That's what they did last time um, so honestly, if you're looking to get into X Plane 12, it's kind of a, a, a sketchy time because the new game is coming out soon and they might start giving out discounts. But I don't know and I can't promise that. I'm just saying what's happened in the past. Um, so yeah, that's how you get X Plane 11. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. How far are we from, from landing? We are. That can't be right. Where are we? Oh, did it say 14 minutes? It's okay, we're flying right over top of Cape Coral in Fort Myers, Florida. It's time for the giveaway. Let's get it. Uh, exclamation mark gear. G-E-A-R exclamation mark gear in chat for the giveaway. Giveaway is happening in five seconds. Now it's four. Three, two, one. One, I'm rolling it. James, man, I keep rolling people that happen to be on board with us. James, are you with us, my friend? Are you with us? Let's see, everybody say congrats to James in chat. Speak now, forever hold your peace. 
should you choose to accept it, my friend, you have just won a free copy of Aviation Masters and brand new scenery from Marathon Key West International Airport. KMTH free of charge just for you, my friend. All I need to hear all I need to hear you say is yes. I am here. Actually, I just saw you say yes. Why didn't it pop up that you are who you say you are? But big congrats. It's crazy. Two of the people that we had on board with us on our flight won both giveaways. That is crazy. In fact, James was on both of the first and the second flight. World Voyager was on the first flight. All right, James, this is what I need you to do, my friend. I need you to go into Discord. If you're not already on there, boom, there it is for Nightbot. Go jump on the Discord. Send me a DM. I can verify that you are who you say you are. And I'll get your name and email, and we'll get you taken care of, bro. You can fly to the scenery hopefully later today. So big congrats, my friend. James. I'll tell you, man, this dude is living right. He freaking in the back seat of a jet. Like, this is his seat right here. This is James' view. One of these. Let me find it. Let me find it. This one right here. This is James' view right now. Chilling. Got free scenery. Like, come on. The same with World Voyager. Big shout out to you guys for participating in the giveaway. And also, even a bigger shout out to Aviation Master. Uh, him and his whole team. It's not just him. Uh, but for reaching out to me and allowing me to check out the scenery myself and showcase it and even give a couple of copies away i always love being able to you know give to you know i wouldn't say give because i didn't pay for it but i like to be able to use my platform to give <laughs> um to give scenery away and save you guys some money so but for the rest of you guys if you weren't able to win the giveaway uh won't be surprised if there may be some more giveaways on other channels uh or if not the, the scenery is actually really cheap so you can go pick it up yourself. I think it's only seven bucks. So that's my checks. So go check it out on store. Uh, the link is in down in the description. If you want to check it out on X Plane Orc Store. So all right. So speaking of that airport, it's time for us to land there. Top of the scent's coming up very soon. And in fact, we're there. We're at the top of the scent right now. Uh, and I just missed it. So three thousand one hundred descending. Hopefully, it'll still descend for us. Um, because we're there. We just flew right over the top of the scent. I'm going to turn off VNAV and turn it back on. We'll see if it'll fix it. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, DM is coming in. Beautiful. Geo. Thank you, bro. Let's see. How long is that, though? Eight month super chats. Sorry, not super chat. Eight month Blue Arrow gold member family in the house. Thank you, bro, so much uh, for being a part of the history of this channel, man. You're amazing for that, man. Thank you so much always great to hear from you yep aviation master just said and confirmed that this scenery is only seven bucks i don't know how he's able to get that cheap but uh yeah all right we're not descending why aren't we descending there's a nose coming down all right maybe we can descend back into that v9 profile hopefully that'll work out that way So like I said, we have our two giveaway winners today, James and World of Voyager. So we'll get you guys taken care of after the stream is over with. But again, big congrats. And thank you guys for supporting the channel just in general. In general, man. Um, I really wasn't planning on doing a giveaway today, but I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. I love doing spontaneous giveaways. Geo, what's up, bro? It ain't been that long since you flew it. I know you flew this like a week ago. Frank Steele, your home airport. Nice. You know what we need to do since we're descending? If you are watching right now, this show some worldwide love. And jump in the chat. Let me know where you're watching from. What country, what city are you representing? And I'll give you guys a huge shout out on our way down into Marathon. See you later, Gio. Have a good day at work, man. And be safe out there, bro. All right, who we got in the chat? Who we got in the chat? 
Frank Steele, Home Airport, Tampa. Beautiful. Good to see you, bro. HXMI. Oh, is that is that is that is that HGMI in the chat? What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. From Leeds, England. Welcome to the stream, bro. Micah Ormsby from Jamaica. Representing Jamaica. I see you, bro. Welcome aboard. Christopher Ramirez representing the good old Puerto Rico, but you're in Minnesota. Nice. I'll accept both. James representing Memphis, Tennessee. Good to see you, bro. Drewski. Always homie. The homie Drewski representing H-Town, Houston. Welcome to the stream, bro. Welcome, welcome. Aaron Needle representing NYC. Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Paul Tull. Welcome from uh york england uk nice i've actually never heard of york england that's cool welcome to the stream bro timothy harris also representing h-town with me good to see you bro welcome to the stream man dahami representing madberg Mag magdeburg germany welcome to the stream good to see you uh wolf gaming i'm not sure what me me is <laughs> beyond lewis uh, beyond lewis welcome from glasgow scotland welcome to the stream bro kid a kid representing charlotte good to see you man uh i had to head back out there sometime in real life actually uh aviation master representing milwaukee sweets and jason brown all the way from london england good to see you bro welcome aboard guys welcome aboard welcome aboard devin barnaby from new york city watching in the walla walla <laughs> i see you bro michael hobson we just flew over top of you bro krsw which i think is fort myers something can't remember the name of the city uh anise from switzerland welcome to the stream we need to head back to switzerland one of my favorite places to fly is actually Switzerland, believe it or not. Welcome aboard, good to see you though. Sean, representing Rudaport, South Africa. Yet another place we need to go. Uh, let's see. York has some incredible history. I'm interested in learning some of it. I'm like, I'm weird when it comes to history. I actually kind of like history, but only certain types of history. And I have to be able to see pictures and video of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Grayson Turner, Lucidale MS. Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Deuce Legend says Antarctica. I feel like you said that before, and I, I think I believe you, but I can't remember if that's correct. But welcome, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm actually excited about the Mic Drop podcast. I've actually never heard of it, and I'm going to look into it to find out more about it here uh, today, probably. So, welcome, man. Uh, yeah, honestly, I, I see we have a few people representing Houston in the chat. I personally wouldn't mind meeting up uh, at some point somewhere, so I'm down for that. I think it'd be really cool to meet up with some guys and, and girls or whoever and talk about aviation and flight sim. Like, that's dope. Um, I know one or two other people in houston that are also in aviation so not a whole lot of us that i know of but i'm sure there's a lot more of us so yeah again down 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 for it we have to get together make it work yeah that's what, what i'm all about grace and turner there's a lot of negativity in the world especially now as you guys can tell and uh i'm here just to bring the positivity man that's that's what i want to do <laughs> josh says you'll fly out for that all right, 19,000 feet, guys. We are descending into our final destination of, I keep wanting to say mahogany. I don't know why that word is in my brain, but I want to say mahogany. But no, we're descending down into Marathon. Uh, we need to get down to 3,100 feet. Uh, I don't think we're on VNAV. Pretty confident that we are on uh, vertical speed, but that is okay. Uh, we don't, oh, we're not even on regular nav. We're just flying a random heading. I don't know how that happened. At all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we got time. We're at 17,000 feet. We got a ways to go. Uh, I do have the weather for a marathon for keys. And it's a bit more cloudy than it was earlier. It was cloudy earlier too, but it's a little bit more cloudy now. Winds are now 12, 12, sorry, 120 at 12. Okay, the winds have picked up. It's now gusting 20. Is it just me or is it everywhere I go, it's gusty? I think it's just me. Uh, let's go over to Perf in it, right? Yeah, approach. And we'll grab this real quick. So 120. And we'll put the worst case scenario, 20. 
one two zero slash two two zero uh temperature out there is 28 degrees celsius it's actually only gone up one degree since we left earlier so 73 degrees fahrenheit now and the qnh is 3013 that's changed pretty drastically it was 3017 i think when we left earlier so that's gone down so the weather is changing quite a bit back to the next page and we'll get our v speeds 117 v117 sorry 117 and 145 and uh yeah we're doing uh it's it's an rnav approach uh the the clouds should be low enough you know i'll just go ahead and read the weather off for you guys as i'm putting our new barrel oh this looks this looks nice this looks pretty good look at this i love these scenes breaking through the, the top layer of the clouds just to get in between a sandwich now we're into the meat of it all uh, right so off of barrow 3013 13 000 feet we're looking okay i think we'll be all right i think we'll be all right musty gusty yes sir what up phoenix j what up bro welcome aboard man good to see you bro hopefully you're doing well good to see you, man Oh yeah, airport story. Yeah, I almost forgot. We got a little bit of time. Uh, so first day that I ever went to the airport for the ramp job. So basically, here's the setup. It's really not a long story. Um, so whenever you start working at the airport, at least this is my experience, um, you got to get an airport badge, right? You get hired and whatnot. You go through like, you know, well, for us, we have to go through like a ton of computer training some other airlines are not as strict and you can probably get away with not doing barely any training <laughs> uh, you just do on the job training which is actually a better way to do it in my opinion let's go into our descent checklist, descent checklist. and uh, shoulder harness is good so basically i went down on the ramp uh this was before i finished all my training i was just there with the supervisor she was escorting me if you don't have your own badge you have to be escorted by someone who does have a badge with escort privileges let's get slowed down too so I went down with her um, and basically what happened was she was just going to let me watch the operation because I, I couldn't actually touch anything like I hadn't finished all my training. I uh, wasn't uh, I wasn't allowed to touch the plane or, or really do anything until I got my badge and I finished my training. So that was basically where I was at when I got the job. Right. So um, but the cool thing is, they, you know, she brought me down there and I was able to just watch everything going on. Now, this is my very first time on the ramp, period. So I was like kind of nervous because I didn't know if I was going to be able to do anything. Um, because if I was going to do anything, I didn't know how to do anything. You know, I wasn't trained. So it was like I didn't want to break nothing. Um, but she, she said, hey, don't worry. You're just going to sit back, relax. I'm on the clock. Like I'm getting paid for this time. And uh, we're just gonna let you just watch and see how we do it. So I uh, walked in with them, the plane came in, I got to watch them do uh, the marshalling and honestly watching the plane roll into the gate for the first time from the ramp, like usually, you know, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm, in the, I'm in the passenger terminal, right? Watching this whole thing unfold from the passenger terminal. But those windows in the passenger terminal are not soundproof, but they block out a lot of sound. Uh, so you can't really hear as much of what's going on as, as, as really is going on. But when you're just standing out there, hold on. There we go. Sorry. Uh, when you're standing out there, it's so much louder. And I did have ear protection, so I had the earplugs on, um, but it was still loud. And being able to see, it was an A320neo and seeing those beautiful A320 engines. <laughs> rolling up and then when it rolled up to um they don't do it every time but a lot of times depending on how long the taxi is uh they'll shut off their right side engine their number two engine as they're taxiing to the gate you know to save fuel stuff like that um and so watching the right engine kind of windmilling and the left engine spinning up like it was just it was just overwhelmingly exciting <laughs> uh and it's like i'm i'm literally sitting right behind the marshaller so uh the plane is coming right at me and it, obviously it stops they stop it and then you know all the ground crew go and do all their stuff um but it was just at as my first experience it was so much fun to watch everything because i'm a flight simmer i love aviation um, you know, we try to be as realistic and, and, and all this stuff in the sim, but there's a lot of things in the sim we're missing and we don't see any of that. Like all that's a mystery or was a mystery to me before I started. 
Uh, so watching everything how they did that, uh, and then uh, kind of fast forward to the end of that that um, that turn. Um, I got to ride on the pushback truck with the pushback driver because we have two seats in our actually we have three seats in our pushback truck and uh, i got to ride in the in the right seat of it while the other one was driving and that was my first time again ever being in a pushback truck first time being that close to a starting engine um and i mean that's the closest you'll ever get to one on the pushback truck you're probably about 25 feet away like realistically in a pushback truck when you're pushing and you're turning at least in a 320 it's different in a 21 because the nose is a little longer um but in the 320 uh when you're pushing back and you make that turn you're only about 20 25 feet away from the actual engine blades and it is right there and just like spinning it was just amazing so I, I remember recording i think i think i recorded it on my phone and posted it on instagram it might still be on instagram um but yeah it was amazing um now you know, I've been working there for about five, maybe six months. And I still, I mean, I'm not like as excited per se, right? Because I've been doing it for a while. Like I'm getting used to it, but um, I still love it. Like I, I, I see it as a, a privilege um, to be able to be around the plane and stuff like that. Because the thing too is a lot of people who work there, it's just a job for them. Like they don't really care about planes. Like they don't have the passion like we do. Um, they're just there for a paycheck. For me... I mean, yeah, I mean, a paycheck is good, but that's not really the reason. Like, if I wanted to make more money, I could go do that somewhere else. Um, so, as for me, it's more of a passion thing. So, yeah, that's my story to answer your question, bro. Uh, and, guys, we are about to land. We're going to left downwind here. And it wants, it's asking if we want to do the, the course reversal. Do we need to? No, we don't. So, we're going to go straight in. All right, guys, I'm taking my eyes off the chat. It's time to land. We're on left base here in Marathon. Marathon traffic, Challenger 16 Bravo. Left base, runway seven, Marathon. And we also need to call, I forgot, jeez. Uh, is it too late? No, it's not too late. I need to call, oh girl. <laughs> I need to call, oh girl, Jenny. And tell her to get the get the whip ready. Gas up the whip. All right. Uh, can you hold on? Can you get the van ready? Uh, also, can you? Uh, we're gonna do a, a full shutdown. Uh, so we we'll get AC power. That's it. We are on left base. We'll be there in about five minutes. All right, guys. It is time. This is going to be gorgeous. I feel like we tried to land here before. No, I think it was Key West I was thinking about, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm taking the controls. My aircraft. We'll fly from here. And we will watch the landing on this one. We'll watch the replay of the landing. Uh, we need to do a checklist. Fuel quantity and balance. Checked. FMS landing data charts. I have the field in sight. Programmed set. Approach briefing. 25 reviewed. VNAV transition flight level. Set. Descent checklist complete. Pressure set. In range checklist next. Yes, do the in range. Do it now. In range checklist. <laughs> APU. Alright, so he's gonna turn the APU Start. on for us. Altimeters. Altimeters set. Three set cross checked. Avionics. Set. External lights. Uh, are you going to turn it on? Do I do it? On. N1 target. Not to flap soon. Set. It is definitely gusty this time around, guys.
Right, so I think he's waiting for the APU. Power, power. No, it says APU is available. APU packs transition. 1000. Avail completed. It's all right, guys. APU it's all right. It's all right. Ignore that. On. Cast. No cast messages. Checked. In range checklist complete. Before landing checklist next. Before landing checklist. Landing gear lever. Sorry guys. I'm trying to do multiple things right now. Uh, gear down. Down indicating. No steer. Arm centered clear. Anti skid. Anti skid is on. On. Wing cal anti ice. Anti ice, not needed. On or off. Continuous ignition. Oh boy, that crosswind. On. Thrust reversers. 22 knots. Armed. Spoilers. Stowed auto. Flaps. Flaps. This is gonna be fun. Not to work for this one. Set. Cass. Cass is clear. Checked. Before landing checklist complete. After landing checklist next. Alright, before landing checklist is complete, one guys, call. we have our landing clearance and uh, marathon traffic. Challenger 1 6 Bravo is on short final runway 7. Marathon. Wow, the wind just shifted. It was going left to right. Now it's going right to left. That was weird. All aboard! All right, gears down indicating. Flaps are down indicating. Runway is clear. Seventeen knots, fifteen knots. Five hundred. Little high. Not a very long runway, so we can't. Get too far off. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Oh, that's not good. At all. <laughs> that was not good at all. Oh, man. Full reverse, full reverse, full reverse. We bounced it. That wind got the best of us. All right, manual braking. And we're stopped. Uh, one thing you'll notice is we're actually missing the runway threshold and numbers. Uh, I noticed it earlier and I forgot to mention it. But, um,. The developer actually already sent me a message and said he is already fixing it right now. So it should be a hot fix version of this coming out pretty soon to fix that missing number. Yeah, I'm not happy with that landing like at all. Matter of fact, I would have gone around. I would have did a touch go and gone around if I didn't have to go. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marathon. Sorry for the uh, bumpy landing. It's a bit of wind there was quite gusty all right so flaps are up after uh, landing after checklist. landing checklist landing pulse recog lights off anti-collision lights off continuous ignition off windshield heat off probes 
I love that he just does all that Wing stuff. Anti -ice. Huh. Cal anti -ice. On or off. Spoilers. Stove. Flaps. Zero. ATC T cast. Alt on. Radar mode. Standby. After landing checklist complete. Engine Any checklist landing test. you can walk away from is a good landing. You know what? That used to comfort me, but not anymore because the only time people say that is when you have a bad landing. <laughs> it means your landing sucked. Thank God I'm still alive. That's what that means. But no, I appreciate it, seriously. All right, so we're going to taxi back to uh, our parking over at the FBO where we started off. And uh, we'll watch our replay, and then we'll get out of here, guys. He's already finished the after landing checklist, so there's nothing else for me to do except for taxi. I think this is our spot right over here. And again, our next flight, next stream, will be on Wednesday. Uh, should be around the same time that we did today's stream. Kind of an awkward place to park, so I'm gonna... I don't... We can't really get in there and turn around. So I'm just gonna actually pull up here on the left, and we'll let the, uh, the ground crew push us back into parking. There we go. Park and brake on, and we're going to jump right into our replay. I'm not going to shut it down yet. Because I want I want the engine and everything and all the systems to be on still whenever we do our replay. I am going to log my flight with Sim Toolkit Pro, though. We got a uh, our first touchdown was a 176, which was cool and all. Uh, when we watch the replay, we'll see what really went wrong there. I think we just came in too hot, came in with a little too much speed when we touched down, just had too much momentum and put us right back in the air. So, we'll have to learn from it. All right, replay. All aboard! Rich Bono, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Thank you so much for that support. Uh, the fact that you subscribed after a bad landing Shows that you're a great person. <laughs> Thank you so much. You don't just love me for my butter. <laughs> yeah, you, you saw when I was landing too. You saw how much I was working the yoke trying to kind of get it where I wanted it to be. Never really found that spot I was looking for, to be honest. You'll see us making a lot of adjustments all the way up to the right before we touch down. At least we got one good landing over in Tampa today. I like those trees. And we actually touched down really soft but like too soft to keep us on the ground and then ugh, that second touchdown was ugly very uncomfortable very uncomfortable matter of fact I don't even know if you can count the first touchdown as a land like we touched down so soft that I don't know if we count the first one it was more like a float like uh, the, the beginning of our float watch the uh, flyby over here from the trees. Here in Marathon. It's a tiny plane. It's pretty small looking, yeah. It looked like we were taking off. Yeah, that second one was real scary. Like, it looked like we were going to tip over and like scratch that left wing. That's what it looked like. A second touchdown. This is why you have to have your seatbelts on for landing. If we could have kept it down on that first one, I would have been really satisfied. 
Here's the thing too is think about this. The wind is pushing us from the right wing. So it's pushing us from right to left. Or sorry, our right now on the le on this screen, left to right, but from this side to this side. And uh you can kind of see the effects of that as it's lifting up our right wing, even though it should this wing should actually be lower. And I don't know if you guys remember seeing on my screen, like on my on my camera, how much uh actual yoke I was putting in to try to get it back to the right instead of the left because it kept going left it wants to go left yeah yeah I thought I thought about going around I thought about we we're running out of runway really quickly I was watching from the in this case the cringe camera from the view here on the right wing see how that looked like from the perspective of the uh, of a person riding along I've never been on a plane when they've bounced a landing before, but uh, I can imagine it not being very nice. Well, there it is. I'm not going to watch that one too many times. You guys know what it is. When we have a good landing, we watch it a hundred times. When we have a bad landing, we watch it two times. <laughs> That's all you get. Oh, man. All right, we're going to zoom out again. And uh, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much again for today and uh, for joining us in today's stream. It was fun. Uh, it was good to... Hopefully you guys are having a good week so far. Good way to start out on Monday. We'll be back in two days time. That's Wednesday. Back in the CRJ unless I change my mind. <laughs> we on Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, I gotta check, but I thought I saw somewhere that there was an update coming out today. You guys can confirm that, but I thought there was a Microsoft Flight Sim update coming out today. So I gotta get that taken care of, make sure it's not too buggy. There it is. All right, well, IEMV, thank you very much, my friend, for hanging out with us today. Timothy Harris, welcome and thank you very much. Jordan J, thank you. Deuce Legend, thank you. C Bar, thank you. Chunky Monkey, thank you. James, thank you, man, for hanging out today. And big congrats to James and, uh, what was the other guy's name? Big congrats to James and World Voyager for being our two giveaway winners today. Thank you guys for participating. Aviation Master, thank you for sponsoring today's giveaway. Thank you, my friend, for the scenery. Thanks for supporting the channel. And uh, Captain Austin, thank you as well, my friend, for chilling with us today and riding along with us in the stream. Deuce Legend, thank you very much. Eleni, welcome. Iowa Scotsman, thank you for hanging out with us today as well. Micah, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Dahomey, welcome to the stream and thank you so much, my friend. Papa Roan, thank you so much. Did I miss anybody? Your boy Andre, thank you, thank you, thank you. HDMI, thank you. Grayson Turner, thank you, my friend. November 8th, said Uniform Papa, thank you very much. I think I did okay, right, guys? You know, I haven't flown this plane in like a month or two. I don't know, I keep making up numbers. I don't know how long it's actually been, but it's been long enough that I forgot how to do everything. Now, Foofy, what's up, man? Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, hope I think, think I did all right. The landing was pretty bad, but other, everything else went okay. Aerofly Channel, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It's good to see you. A pleasure to have you with us. It's my honor. It really is. Jordan J, thank you very much as well. See ya. All right, so I give one last shout out to our very special, special VIP passengers that joined us on today's flight in the backseat, back in the cabin. That was Nick Quippers, World Voyager, James, Ethan Aviation, Clifton AFM, Gavin Chapman, Christopher Ramirez, Deuce Legend, Jacob Singer, Origin Code, and Kenny, the kid named Kenny. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and participating in today's stream. Until next time. Remember, you got three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace, love, outside views. <laughs> and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.